No, it's not Jamaican. It's Caribbean independence. Yeah. Carnival. Is it, what, what, what is the history of carnival? Why? I'm going to tell you because somebody Please, told inform me. Inform me, inform me. Do you know what? Yeah, big up Shia for telling me this, our historian. Okay. So I'm going to, I know the loose thing. So basically, there was actually a, there was a murder. A black man had got oh, killed. Okay. Um. So carnival started as a protest oh okay so it that's actually, why you're raiding the streets and like yeah and okay so, it act, so originally they didn't fill up the streets they just were allowed to walk on the pavement oh. um so as years went along obviously it got bigger and bigger and bigger but then as it got bigger 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 it got detached from the actual problem i can't remember if it was it, it definitely was a racial murder but i'm yeah. not sure if it was against police or if it was against a group of like people. a group of people mm-hmm. but yeah that's what it was about it was that's actually the origin and when i found out i was like shit i'm gonna share it one day so here and do you no, know what i could have shared it and sounded like a like a smart woman but i had to say i heard it from <laughs> yeah, someone. i had, I had like, no clue yeah. i had no clue that that's it's, how it started in in, in london in london it's turned into a celebration of the whole idea of the whole the culture, caribbean everything. culture okay, exactly okay. are you are you a carnival man i've never been to carnival ever stop it yeah never so basically um i was about 18 19 mm-hmm. covid and then um that was when i felt like i was ready i was of age i was uh, and then covid here and then just one or two things. I just won't be able to go again. When, mm-hmm. was, when was last Carnival? Is this the one since this is, COVID? Since, since, since COVID. So, so yeah. it's been like two, two, three years. I think it's two yeah. years. We yeah, haven't so had I a Carnival. The last one, I was like 17 maybe, around mm-hmm. 18. And then I didn't really want to go then. I thought maybe I'd wait till you're a bit older and stuff. And then, yeah, just COVID. How old are you, may I ask? I'm 21 now. You're 21, you're yeah. fresh-faced. Yeah, carnival, you. this year, are you entering? Okay, so I wasn't gonna go because I thought it's gonna be too crowded and I just wasn't ready for it. Don't do book G. Yeah, Don't so do book G. I thought like, am I gonna wear a badly now? I'm joking, but um, I thought, what am I gonna like? How am I really gonna enjoy navigating through that crowd kind of thing? Because sometimes mm-hmm. I don't like it, and um, sometimes people get too confident when they see me and think that like, because I'm a guy that like, you can touch. Mm-hmm. Sometimes and I really don't. Well, like, like women that. just start squeezing your breasts, squeezing yeah, your pecs. I'm having Listen, a wireless. Women can also have sexual assault as well. They can be Thank sexually you. assaulted. Don't be, don't be a dirty bitch. Yeah, don't, don't think just because yeah, I'm a guy that means I love everything. You love it, that, yeah. Uh, yeah, like I'm selective. So um, mm-hmm. yeah. Sometimes I just thought, mm, do I really want that? But then I got um, I think Ray and nephew invited me to like. I don't know if you've seen. Oh, it. I got invited back to Ray and nephews on so, Sunday. Yeah, so that's yeah. the only thing I'm doing. I don't know if that's on the actual day but I'm I think go Sunday that. is a carnival day yeah right it's Sunday okay, and yeah. Monday so I believe I'm going but yeah. let me tell you the carnival experience listen you've got your biceps and your triceps <laughs> you look like a walker you look like you like to walk <laughs> are you you know those people that when when they when they leave there when they're at home for too long mm-hmm. like, I'm just gonna go for a walk yeah, well, that's yeah. my auntie is that, is my, that yeah. all my days no, like, that shoe that one shoe with the one shoe <laughs> she's <laughs> just <laughs> going to go to walk just for a that stroll yeah, around yeah. the block yeah I see them I go for jogs though that's me yeah. oh you went to yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he boogie I had to 3k just he 5k just yeah, a little freak you know, little cute ones yeah. listen Someone needs to teach me. I tried to do. I tried to to jog at the on the treadmill last yeah. week, and I said, "This is not my destiny." I just <laughs> left it. No, I just left is, it. I would recommend it to anyone. It's just great for your lungs, everything. It's just great for your lungs. Just you know what I mean? Do you know what? Yeah. Can I just say, yeah. Fuck the joggers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? Fuck them. They they think they're so fucking nice on the street with their matching. You went. You got the matching uh, jogger suit. If and you then, if you had a picture of my Instagram right now, you could put up a mean picture of me with my matching fits. I take a matching picture fits, of and they're like, oh, jogging. Yeah, yeah. Where they've got the, they've got the headphones mm. in a, a very prestige Dre beats, and they're jogging like yeah, they. Ha- the Do you know it gets me so bad? It's like you lot think you're so fucking bougie. Yeah, you lot think you're so nice. There's a bit of prestige, and when you see another jogger, you have that little yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah we that. winners. Yeah, yeah, we. <laughs> I see, are, there's, there's not been a time I've seen a babe go jogging and she's just wearing like a big t-shirt and she's wearing, it's the, it's the matching pink co-ward, it's the bralette, yeah, yeah, the it's proper, the shorts, the whole package, it's yeah, the yeah. Nike sneaker. I, I, love, I love me a good it, Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fuck y'all. Yeah, Why can't I be fat in peace, please? <laughs> Leave me alone. But if you're a jogger, if you're a walker, Carnival's for you. That one is a is good it? workout. Mm. You walk very well. I'm sure. I feel like you're you gonna be sweating. Well. No, all this heat, people around like. Do you know I what? Know. Just... You know English weather. I'm scared. If it's hot, the heat we get in this country is not nice hot. So no, I don't it's know not. If I would enjoy it's like this. A sticky like, hot. You're right. Yeah, it's a, it's a sticky, sticky hot. hot. And I, 
for me, the things I've seen on Twitter about Carnival, like um, what are you saying? What what the men are on? As a guy, I'm, well, cause as I'm a man, a, cause, sorry, as a as a man who can understand the whole being publicly thingy. So I relate to a lot more women in that aspect mm-hmm. as well. So when I see what men are doing, I'm just like, do I even want to be around that? Like, I there's a video. I don't know how PG this is. I'm so traumatized from this one video I saw on Twitter. About, I think about two three years ago, mm-hmm. a guy released himself on a girl. No, I don't know if you saw that video. Didn't. It was no, there. People didn't. who know, people, if you saw this, you saw this. It was like, he was behind her in, the, in like the crowds walking. Her elbow was there holding her bag and she saw it. And I just saw that video and I was like, I don't think I want to go to Carnival. Like, I appreciate it <laughs> for good culture. <laughs> y'all stay safe. Yeah, y'all stay safe. <laughs> I just thought like, as a decent human being, like this stuff ain't right. Like that it's stuff ain't right. right. Like that is not what that is about. That is fucking Do you know awful. what I mean? So that stuff really put me off just like, is this what some people are going to be on? And then in light of what's been happening with these kids in Central, not having any sense of decorum, no class. not knowing how to spell the word, I just thought, yeah, is this going to be a case of, what if I get rushed by four, four, five, sixteen-year-olds? Because, <laughs> because you're buff. You know what? That's the thing. Yeah. You know, Mandem you know, no. are rushing Mandem because of complete we jealousy really. and envy and, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But I feel like you're definitely right. Carnival is sexual assault city. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it's important for men like you to be around ah. because I need, it's, 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 I need it's, it's, someone sexual. to post up for me. Y'all niggas got to start fighting for the girls. Ah. I mean, the yeah. man them gonna start fighting for the girls. I mean, yeah, I'm all, I'm all for check, defending my women. Yeah. Check but. the check the man them that are there. But even there was there was a there was a year where um, guys were taking girls' wigs off and ah, throwing right. them in the air. I don't know. It's throwing them in the air. Just like it's just, just <laughs> a lot of mad mad stuff. Like men, especially in carnival, have no decorum or class. But there has been this thing that um, um, people are now using called Ask Alice. What's that? Excuse me, it's Ask Alice or Ask Anita, Ask Elsie. It begins with A. Ask As somebody, Amy. Yeah. Uh, it's this thing. So if you go to someone and you ask, you say, oh, um, Ask Amy or something like that, Ask Ali. Please, someone put it in the comments. Yeah. Then um, they can remove you from uncomfortable situations. Oh, it's like a signal thing. It's I like think I've heard of it. Yeah, thing, yeah, like yeah. A ind- without you being so abrupt Obvious. about it. Sometimes it's hard to be clear without being in more danger. Without being in more danger. Mm-hmm. Exactly that. But honestly, yeah, the mandem, I feel like I'm glad they have things in place for women for when they feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But there definitely needs to be an education with guys. Not even just carnival, anywhere. Like, you need to fucking relax yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You need to relax yourself. I'd say, honestly, I think, yeah, maybe encouraging guys to just be more outspoken about it amongst their friendship groups. Because amongst us, there's definitely somebody that's doing something weird. So just be honest with your friends and be like, yo, bro, that is not cool. What you're saying about this, mm-hmm. I don't really find that bit funny. Like, you know what I mean? Do you know what? Yeah. I love that because man, them are not checking their friends. They don't want to check their friends. Yeah. They don't want to check their friends when they're doing dumb shit. Mm-hmm. They'll either laugh it off or they'll coast hand it. But I have a question for you, yeah. Are you into um, Bashman, Calypso, music? No, I don't, I've never listened. I've never listened to it like out of my way. What? So you I'm, I'm, that? I'm very African and British. I just didn't. I never. I haven't gone to the Caribbean side yet. I wish I. I want to go. Swung. I, wanna, I well, Yeah, I haven't swung that way. Do you know what I mean? I've not Even dated music, a Caribbean girl. Mm-hmm. I've not gone to enough solely Caribbean parties and like been like, yeah, this is this is my vibe. Or I don't have a Caribbean playlist, so like. I don't know, maybe it takes the right Caribbean girl out there to show me the ways, but I just haven't mm. really landed there. Do you know mm. what I mean? But I would love to go to Jamaica, you know, mm. like a little son, have a vibe on the beach, learn some stuff. Because I'm all, I'm all for learning cultures, but I don't know, I just haven't, I haven't touched that way. It's weird. So but, you yeah. date a Caribbean woman. Mm. You don't mind a bit of rice and peas. At all. I've heard only good things. But you've never had Caribbean food? That was the thing as well. I had a bigger spat on my story about it on Instagram. I said, um... I, not like in a rude way but I was like w- okay you're about to offend somebody today so okay I'm asking a question now but not in a rude way like what's the hype about Caribbean food like what's the good things about it like mm-hmm. what's your what's the shit mm-hmm. right then um, I said this because in my experience I'd already ordered from shops and then from the shops I'd even ordered from I just thought this ain't Meh. this can't be what I know my black people are hyped about like, up, yeah. yeah yeah this can't be it like mm-hmm. maybe this is because it's from the shop but i'd only ever had from the shop 
I'd been to maybe one barbecue in my life that the person who's cooking was Caribbean. That was mm-hmm. it. So I was like, I haven't really had Caribbean food, have I? Like, really and truly. Because yeah. if someone goes, oh, yeah, I had Nigerian food, I bought it from this shop. I'll be like, have you had it, though? It's like, not authentic. Uh, mm. Have you really had it from a kitchen, from Auntie? Auntie, with really a tough, meant with, with yeah, a good with, hand. With that good, bit extra arm, you <laughs> meant it. <laughs> Auntie, <laughs> you meant it. So I thought, have I really had Caribbean food? So I thought, no, nah, I probably haven't, to be honest. Like, Obviously, some people took offense. Like, what? You just say it's not nice. Blah, blah, blah. But... Like I just yeah I need I need some need culture some, I need to get that's in touch. why I need to go to Car- the, uh, um, Carnival I because they have right. stores. You might meet, listen to be honest I you know me I'm a Nigerian woman so I, I want to push you to the Nigerian women. Oh, of course and, you know, I, I, I'm comfy but at home. <laughs> if you're feeling a little bit of a Shalian or Shani, <laughs> you know I'm meeting I'm only part I'm yeah. part Jamaican as well they know me. Are you? In the spirit. In the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> in the spirit. I'm, yeah, Jam- I'm Jamaican. Jamaican. <laughs> Jamaican girl, you know. I'm Jamaican girl, you know. They come with Shelly. On, on Tuesdays. But if you want to go, there's actually like stores where they have quality Caribbean food mm. made by our aunties. Personally, I really enjoy Caribbean food. Better than African food? Okay. <laughs> let's talk about this. Yeah. yeah, let's get that. Let me be honest. There's, I love Nigerian foods in it. Yeah. Nigerian food for me is number one. Mm-hmm. But I feel like there's some stuff in Caribbean food that I'm like, they do better. In terms of like, what kind of dishes? Like rice dishes, meat? What do you mean? Sorry, jollof rice for me is my soul. Okay. That's, it. but for example, yeah. Nigerian, pe- what Nigerian people can cook chicken. And if you use that chicken and bang the table, you will knock. Hey. <laughs> you know the chicken, know the boiled right. chicken that is hard. <laughs> hard. Bro. You are eating the chicken. You're eating the chicken. The chicken is the fighting. Chicken is fighting. <laughs> Bro. That one is that rubber chicken. The plastic. Rubber ah. chicken. Ah, that if yeah. I was to fling at you, you would yeah. say, ah, you say, e. Ish. You say, e. Well, back my head. Yeah, yeah, serious chicken. I don't Caribbean. know. Caribbean. Chicken is fall off the ball. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. Just dangle it or just drip. Yeah, yeah, it will yeah. just swing and I mean, sway. Yeah. Even um, I I recently ordered curry goat, but I liked it from the shop because mm-hmm. off the bone it just off. No, you don't one, have to no, effortless. Just toil and throw. There's no turmoil That's with that the food. Thing. Everything in Nigeria is all about struggle. We, hard, we like struggle. Hard, we, we, hard. Nigerians, we like to suffer. We, we like, like to struggle. struggle. We like endurance. We like in, if 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 it's, I mean, if you don't have to endure. Why, why we eat shaki still chewing at I love it but I've learned to love it do you understand like when I was, was young I'm, mom why am I fighting my food we're fighting the food why am I fighting for imagine this imagine we're using the knife the, the, <laughs> the, the shaki is using the knife back fam we're both fighting it's like who will win this <laughs> round win is it you or is it me do you like I chew shaki for five minutes sometimes and if chak- shaki is slightly hard it's ruined it's, it's ru- ruined. Do you know what? Yeah, it's I realised because there's some aunties that get it right. Yeah. That is quite tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I realised it's a skill to have a soft shaggy. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to have to, I don't know if I'm going to incorporate it into my future household. I don't know. Will I put my wife through having through to that. I don't. Honestly, I can tell you how to cook shaggy. Ah, you don't know? Is it not just boil it? I mean, I guess so you have to put some li- small seasoning. I'm, I'm surprised you don't know. Should be you are cooking for them on the internet. Yeah, but <laughs> that, that, that was that was some some small help. I can't lie. I, I had to do bare minimum because I'm not a chef. I'm sorry. I'm a very. I said I'm very African, and I'm very traditional. So which means you just like to eat. Yes. You ain't finna cook, but you yeah, finna. Yeah. I, I, I just I love a good plate. Re- just receiving a plate. Receiving yeah, the plate. Yeah. Thank you. Th- do you know what? That's yeah. the end of the stick. I'm on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Am I gonna be that woman, where? My man is there and I'm going to give him a bowl of water because he can't bother to stand up and wash his hands. I, I feel like, I, I feel, know. I feel like... Talk to me. This, the Nigerian gene, mm-hmm. when you love the man enough, I'm telling you, it will, it will activate. Because will, will will <laughs> my mom, that woman, how, without complaint, she just does it. I'm mm-hmm. thinking, you're just, you're comfortable with this house. Mm-hmm. This house is functioning because we're following how it's just naturally been taught and... Yeah. I've seen it and it worked. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, okay, I think with the right emotion, the right dynamic in the household, it just it's just effortlessly. That's your job. That's that's what becomes your work in, mm-hmm. in the sense. It's just, okay, I'm going to go up and do this. My husband needs to eat that. And then as a husband, he does his own thing. He <sighs> makes his right, bed, comes for back. The right, for, for the, the right, right man. So I would never go and tell you every boyfriend, every man you meet, every encounter must be wifey. No, 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 no. Don't be doing all that. Listen, all, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't co-sign that yet. Exactly. But definitely, I feel like back to carnival you should definitely 
go and try the food at least mm. you can go you can you don't have to be there for long just go to the store see auntie cooking in the kitchen and bounce out yeah now i wanted to talk to you about something because there has been a conversation on social media and for some reason the caribbeans are really piping up this year really? not sure why actually no, let me be let me be unbiased they're saying that basically in carnival only Caribbean music should be allowed to be played in Carnival. What else would be played? What, Afrobeats? They said no Afrobeats, mm. no um, I want in it, in it music, no um, G -g 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. We don't want to hear, they don't want to hear that. Yeah, I mean. It's, How it's do you feel about that? So, it's a good thing you explained the history of Carnival because mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known how to answer this, but um, I mean, that being their kind of celebration is kind of revolved around that culture. I don't see why. I mean, I think it becomes a like, how deep is it to you? Like, if you hear a song that's not Caribbean, but it's a mm -hmm. vibe and you're enjoying, you're celebrating. Carnival's already moved from what it was originally, mm -hmm. uh, as you said. So I'm sure it can move a bit further and just become a celebration in general of any culture. But sticking true to the roots, there's obviously aspects of the tradition you want to keep. I guess you can just keep it Caribbean. Like, yeah. But then, I mean... How how far do we want to crack down on that? Oh, no Caribbean, no, no not only Caribbean music, only Caribbean people, only Caribbean. It's like yeah. you know what I mean. Like how far do you want to crack down on it? But I mean, I find I find people very black people very interesting, and I find Car that's a very that's a very interesting statement. I find, yeah, I find I find Caribbeans very interesting in this conversation because they fail to realize that the expansion of carnival mm -hmm. was due to the involvement of multicultural cultures yeah bearing in mind that black people in this black people generally in the uk make up only three percent of the whole population out of the three percent i'm not sure how many are specifically caribbean but if you were to then exclude every other person how what what, what are you gonna have yeah exactly what, 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 it wouldn't what be what, what it, it, it wouldn't is. be the grand Notting Hill Carnival it would be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Caribbean people would not have been able to expand that on their own and that's not because they that's not because it's impossible but when you look at the numbers you don't have enough numbers to fill the, the whole of Carnival yeah, yeah. in the generation maybe you're and especially like when we're talking about a lot of Caribbean people who are wind rush they're like uh, they're like in their 60s mm -hmm. 50s 60s 70s what's, what's grandma and granddad doing at Carnival Go and, rest. <laughs> Go and sit down and finish <laughs> and finish Coronation Street and EastEnders. Do you know what I'm saying? But I hear, I really do hear what they're saying. I feel like if I were, if I was um, a Caribbean woman, I would feel some type of way, and I don't want the I don't want the culture to die. You know, I you wouldn't know, want my culture to die. You know what I'd say actually? I'll, yeah, I'll go I'll ahead. Come to more calculated response. Go ahead. Music that you ca has accredited and clear Caribbean influence at least. Okay. At least that's it. So if you're going to play. Central C, turn that off. Do you know what I mean? This is yeah. carnival. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to play something like an Afrobeats artist who has clearly taken influence from a bit more that, uh, uh, can you Drake? Burn maybe boy, you know, maybe Drake who's yeah. now tried a little bit of yeah, you something, know something a bit more. Yeah. Whatever that is, mm -hmm. like those kind of things, like one dance, something that isn't. It's mm -hmm. not a Jamaican guy making Jamaican music, music or something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's just uh, the influence. Like it's, it shows yeah. the product and the impacts that they've had on culture mm -hmm. in music. Play that, like enjoy it. I get I, that. Do you know what? I actually agree. Yeah, definitely, minimum. I must say, Caribbean people have influenced a lot. Plenty, of sounds. rich culture, very definitely, rich culture. I wish I knew more about culture. it. Actually, I'm deep in that. I don't know enough about them, and I'm. I think so, I'm are we gonna go to Carnival and at least have a Caribbean experience? Yes. You know what? I'm going to. I'm gonna be Jamaican for the day. I'm gonna. I'm a, me too. Me Jamaican. Yeah, uh, yeah, listen, you know, if you see my Jamaican, hey. I'm wearing the Jamaican flag. Is it? I'm wearing the Jamaican yeah. flag. I'm gonna <laughs> represent because honestly, do you know what's interesting? Nigerian people. Um, if you look at the heritage of sub Caribbean culture, specifically Jamaica, um, a lot of Nigerian people migrated to Jamaica, so Jamaican have a lot of integration. Some of their food is like Nigerian. Yeah. Like, yeah some yeah, of yeah. The, some of their schools have Yoruba names oh. and streets have Yoruba names so yeah wow I didn't know that yeah and look, if you look I at, always thought Usain Bolt looks like he's from Edo I always thought there's a lot, yeah, like a lot of Caribbean people yeah. have Nigerian heritage they, they, didn't, they didn't want to say it but yeah. if you look at even I remember I saw Conan do Kreps did his um 
you know when they do my DNA? Oh, okay, yeah. Ninety percent Nigerian. Yeah, that's a Nigerian. 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 That's Oh my days. Are you on the internet a lot? Yeah. You need yeah. to come down by side. Yeah, so she you know, came out with this involved. tape measure song. Wait, what's it was sing sing anything of it, please? I don't know. Honestly, the the, the video itself, yeah, deaf me. For me to not even remember what the song is that like tape measure. But everybody was talking about the video. Okay, okay. <laughs> because <clears throat> she decided to post a naked man with a really big cock and then have like a tape measurement. That's why it's called tape measure. That's why it's called tape measure. Can I, have you seen this video today? I've seen it. You want to see it? No, I think I'm okay, but <laughs> <laughs> wait, so is that the controversy behind the song or something like that? Or? Everybody was like, what the fuck? It's a mm. music video for her song. Let's cheers to that. But we have, <laughs> we, but can I just say, yeah, I don't know what it is. I've, I've heard, um, uh, Jamaica people, like they have like live sex shows in Jamaica mm, where yeah. they're fucking on stage and things like that. So when it came out, it was not really any surprise to me. But I think it's because it's a music video. We had to have a music video that says, um, I don't um, is it was it Skepta or was it? Yeah, it was Skepta did all over the house. Oh, I didn't see that video. What was that? Naked again? I can tell you're not my generation. If you guys remember, uh, Skepta did a video called All Over the House, but it was a porno. Is it? Yeah, and he's like, he had sex all over the house. Uh, all over the house. I, I, I don't know what's going on. He just was, what, in the video? Actually so he wasn't, he wasn't having sex. It was these two porn stars having sex, but the porn tape was the video. And he was just like, we have sex all over the house. I mean, or, yeah, whatever, whatever gets the people going. I'm yeah. not on it. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't no, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, Spice's thing, I don't understand it. Like, I guess people are trying to do shock facts. Two out. million pounds on the table. We need you to act in this video. Big artist. Sex all over, sex all over the, the salon, whatever, the, the, the palo. Sex all over the palo. Me? You. Two million pounds on the table. Will you, will you, will you, will you? My pussy out on camera. Blood, um, Blood when it where it matters. What's showing? Um, everything but it's blood here and here. Everything there will be blood. Nah, I think the fact that it's already out is nah. I couldn't do it. All right, I two million, two M's. No, I would do it. Two M's, I would do it. Cause if anybody questions you, just say, look, look at the transaction. I just re nah, nah. Two, two million M's. to have a whole pussy out. Oh, that's a good question. Think about it. Who's it with? Oh, that's oh a good who's it with? That's a good question. Who's it with? Where um, is it? You choose. Is it is man of your choice? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now now we talk. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know two bills a lot, buddy? I'm sorry. If I get to choose and then obviously she agrees, okay, I'm down with that. Yeah. I'm sorry, two I'm doing it. You're doing it. I'm very confident Cock in my body. Out. Yeah. Cock out, no no blags. I I told my, okay. I told myself I would never model naked mm -hmm. when they first asked me, like when I was young, I was like, yeah, I'll never mm -hmm. do it. And I still stand by it. I don't think I need to model naked. But if it's like, yeah, but no modeling job is going to be two mil. But if it was like two mil for this video, fuck it. Fuck it. Like, it. Oh, bring, bring the offers. Bring, bring me my money. <laughs> bro, I'm down, bro. I don't, You're going to do it. I don't do gym for nothing. Like, you know, I might as well see something. Just, okay. They offer a modeling job for one mil. Cock out. Cock mm. out. I mean, pe people get leaked for free every day. No, but you ain't you preserve you've preserved yourself like a. Good so I got to prepare for the leak. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. With leak with preparation. I'm down. You know what? I hear it. Kim K, fucking Ash Cash. These people are. These people made more money than they ever did after their tapes. So you, do you know what? Yeah, you honest. Yeah, I'm honest. He honest. I'm honest. The checks in front of me. I'm there, bro. <laughs> do you know what? I don't know. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, lads. Two million. Yes, a lot of money. Two two million pounds, like flat. No, plus we eighteen. I don't know, man. The situation has. The thing is, yeah, it's it's one of those things where it has to be in front of me for me to really decide. Mm -hmm, I could be like, nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. But I'm gonna see, see it. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> just me, just me. 
What's that? Oh shit! Listen, this one is this one is not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing. Another thing. All right, guys, I would like to introduce you to my new guest. We have a phenomenal person who is here. He is a model. Are oh, you talking about me? Oh, I thought you had another guest coming. I was like, what? <laughs> Sorry. I'm fucking dead. So <laughs> he's like a new guest. I was like, did you just plan them to come here? No, it's you. Okay, yo, what's up? What's up? Why did you, you ruin my intro? It's, yeah, okay, go ahead. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> We have a guest in the motherfucking building, guys. You already know the vibe. You see, the girls on this show, including myself, one thing they love on this show is is some chocolate, like. So, obviously, it was only right that we bought some chocolate on today. That's a comment, man. Come on now. He is a TikToker. He is a model, a personality. It is none other than Mr. Kanan Patan! Did I say your name right? Yeah, Kanan Patan, yeah. Patan! Where's that from? It's um it's Nigerian, it's Biton. It means storyteller. Biton. Oh, so you even gentrified it. Yeah. You said it in French. So basically I went to the primary school, the white teacher, they this is the first experience with white people for my parents in terms of um our name and like school and stuff. So um yeah, his name is Biton. Pitan, 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 Pitan. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, Pitan, Pitan, and then we left it as that, and it stayed like that. Cause from then on, we were the Pitan family, in the area to everyone. So we just left it as that. Where did you grow up? Ireland. Oh, you, you don't know that? Sorry, I was born in Ireland. Yeah, so I um, was also born in Ireland. What? Yeah, okay, come on now. Can this tattoo my back? Like, yeah. Where did you grow up? Where in Ireland? I grew up in Dublin. Dublin, okay. So I was fucking born in Dublin, but I moved to Longford. No yeah, way! I even still the, the accent. accent. Yeah, yeah. I, still, I used to have it. Yeah. Oh my days, look at us Irish no babes. No way. Yeah, 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 I would yeah, not yeah. have bet money on that. Like, what? Nah, because I left when I was six. So my mom used to have a shop okay. in Dublin. Ah, oh, I left when I was 10. You left when you was 10? Yeah, yeah. How old are we in age? What's the difference between us? I oh, I left in 2011 when I was 10. Oh, yeah. Oh my good. Yeah. Okay, now nah, I think I've left by then. Maybe 20, 2000 and. Four. Oh, so you've been here, three. you've been here. Yeah, I've been here. London I left when well. I was like six. Yeah, I was in London. Like, oh, okay. I moved to uh, North London and then I moved up and down, around, around. <laughs> but yeah, I'm an Irish baby. They make a loan us me. What was your mum's shop? So I don't want to say too much on the internet because your motherfucker knows me. But yeah, she had the first African shop in Dublin before we it was love a thing. It. Yeah, no. That's and good. where Pioneering. her shop was, now all those places is just predominantly Afro Caribbean shops. But she had the first shop. So your there. mom reversed Yeah, they know her in the streets. They know my mom in the streets. They know my mom in the streets. Like she brought she brought African culture she brought Africa to, to Ireland. Yeah. And I'm sorry, them Irish people they be racist. So Yeah, the, the oh god, we had managed, some situations. Did she not have, there. My dad has a um a pharmacy, I'm not gonna say what, but he has a pharmacy and mm-hmm. just being black and a pharmacist. Yeah. It's not, wi- it's not the good. window is at jeopardy every day. <laughs> There's another, another brick coming through, another rock. Uh, I remember one of our cars got set on fire. Huh? Yeah. One Jesus. Set on fire. Yeah, it, real hate crime. That's just yeah. Ireland hate crime. is Ireland is proper bad, but that's bad. Have you been back recently? I left and never looked back, man. <laughs> I, I, never know, I hear back. it. Last time I went, it was maybe 2010. It was 12 years ago now. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Well. Yeah. I don't, and then I said, okay, but I might, I might be back soon. Because mm. I know some people from Ireland listen to the show and da 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 da, da, yeah, da, da yeah. you know. But how I'm are you? Up. How's your week been? Talk to me. My week. Um, what day is it? I lost track. Today is Friday. Friday end of the week. Okay, cool. So um, this week I had a shoot. Okay, so I'm, I'm modeling independently now. I don't have an agency. So okay. I saw the shoot. It's cool. I love the no middleman business. That's great. So I had that, and then um, honestly, just been in, in the crib, just like writing music and just chilling. Just music. Like, yeah. You do music. I won't say I do it. I just, you know, it's just like, I feel like in the game, as you said earlier, like um, you can't just be this or just be that. I just want to be good at something and like mm-hmm. have an art form I, I'm good at. Cause mm-hmm. like, just what being a face, for example, you can just be wasted away in terms of your personality and like, mm-hmm. what's your craft? Like, what do you actually do better than the average person? Yeah. And for me, I was like, okay, fitness is one thing, but like, what else? And I'm not even better than anyone else at fitness. I'm just, I just do my exercise. Mm-hmm. So I thought, what can I do and get good at? And yeah, I realized I really love music. So I was like, just music as in singing, music as in rapping, music as mm. in playing. Um, I don't produce, but I would say I sing and rap as much as Drake does. Like in the balance in between, like the melody, but then the rap. Drake. 
No, like uh, Drake. <laughs> Drake, Drake, the nigga that got by now. <laughs> Drake, <laughs> no, but, yeah, but, but like you know how we can like just effortlessly flow into the melody, nigga. The um, melodic thing. Oh, yeah, like that. The I melodic can, thing. I can, I can dive into that a little bit. Then I like my rap. Uh, I've always been a fan of rap. Like I grew up on the UK rappers, but the the um, American ones as well. I was a big Harlem Sparks fan as a kid. You know, yeah, kind of like dabble in that a bit, but. Just a home studio. I crazy. love that, you know. Honestly, I definitely feel like definitely trying new things. So do you do you see modeling as your end goal or are you just trying to this is where you are now? Yeah, that's very it's very just situational where I am now. Modeling mm-hmm. is like like, you know, I could I can age, I can anything can happen to my face, that's done. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like I can't ever rely on it. I, I treat every day of modeling like it's my last shoot. Like I'm thankful for the opportunity, but I just know it's not gonna last forever. So you always have to have what are you doing next? What business did you start with all that money you made? What did you mm-hmm. do? So, yeah, I'm not just going to be a model and just think it's going to last for more than seven years because it's not. It's not. Like, I'm not going to be 40 and still be doing ASOS. You know what I mean? I hate you. <laughs> you, know know I mean? you listen, they're, they're trying to just trying to cut out ageism and that. Who knows? You mm. might be showing your weekly body on um, on um, on um, ASOS. But how have you been finding um, coming out of management and working independently? Um, You realise that a lot of these folks want to... S- Scam you. you re- no, okay, so you realise that if you've been in management ever since you started, once you go independent, you realise that maybe they were playing with my money. They're my blood clap teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that in, in other words, yeah, for yeah. lack of a better phrase, that um, you realise that you've probably been getting your money played with a little bit and you quickly learn and can exercise your worth. Yeah. Rather than just be somebody's work. Yes, and man. Then, yeah. yeah. Yes, man. And then, and then often agents forget that they actually work for you and then yeah, you start, that one looked like Girl. you hit a nerve. So yeah, Girl. you know, oft, often agents forget that they actually work for you, and the reason they get paid is because you're the talent. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But then eventually it got to a stage where the relationship between my agents didn't have that respect anymore, and mm-hmm. I just didn't like, and I didn't appreciate, it. and especially as a black kid where it's white women managing me, Ooh. these blonde white women. I was like, no, like you're not gonna talk to me as if you own me or anything like yeah. that ever. So I just thought, yeah, you know, yeah, Kanan, you're out, and you're gonna learn the ropes yourself, and then when you're ready you'll sign another contract. But for now, I didn't want to see a contract. I didn't mm-hmm. want to have to deal with all that agency talk, that legal talk. I just wanted to chill on my to own. To do your own thing. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, you're a boss and I love that. There's so, the, reason why, the reason why I look to you is because I always sit across people and off camera, we have these same conversations about management versus oh, being independent. The conversations to be had are great. When you Honestly, talk to another person that's in it. When you, and the thing is, when you it. talk to enough people, you're like, People are suffering here. Mm-hmm. And some people don't know they're suffering until they speak to another person. Everything is image. Yeah. And everyone looks great on Instagram. We mm-hmm. all look super excited. Mm-hmm. But like, there's a big. There's we some, are to- some people are toiling some people and toiling. Chopped. And then yeah. some people are killing it. Killing and it, yeah. Yeah, that's why it's like. Yeah, it just makes you appreciate just real life and like off the social media because you don't know what people are going through. Yeah. You think this influence is having the dream life because mm-hmm. they're in this country. Do you know what she had to do to get to that country? To get to that country. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what's going on? Do you know how much you're getting paid for that shoot? For that she's, shoot. She's how much they're debt? pitching? Trust <laughs> me. How much they're pitching? <laughs> like, Honestly, I, feel, I, I literally feel like the best thing that you could do and anyone could do is start independently by themselves. And that's what I did. Get to know it. And get I'm to really know proud of you game. for that as well because the fact that you explained it to me, I didn't know that you were fully independent like that. But the fact that you are, it's impressive. I'm not independent anymore. I oh, just signed. I, I just signed to an amazing management you, team. You? I'm with a uh, season 25 baby. So they don't uh-huh. do modeling. So they they manage the Cabs family, me, Shia, Meet the Forbes. Who else they do? They do a whole bunch Is of. Is it more selective though? Like the the, the yeah, 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 it's yeah. not those agencies that will have 500 people on their roster. Rotten, Leave them alone. Rotten on the wall. Sitting I'm and cooking. Just, They're just names. Oh yeah, yeah we got Sam, yeah, 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 Louis, yeah. Becky. Can't Jugget. even name people anymore. You will not yeah. be naming ba- Bobby, Susie, and Becky, then, and Sandra. And how many of them are working? Three of them. Just one. Yeah. Just yeah. the one. Yeah. Just the one. That's it. But and they're working them like like cattle. And they're getting all the all the rates, everything. It's just yeah. You need no, to seriously, find the right place. No, seriously, but yeah, I for for me. Working independently allowed me to see the ropes of things. Mm-hmm, There's mm-hmm. some managers, they're just assistants. They're just yeah. answering emails for you and chopping you're 20%. You're just a middleman through my thing, but you're not actually, you're not actually actively going team. out, seeking my stuff. Mm-hmm. Your in, your best interest is not me. Your best interest is you. Your commission, your... Your, 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 20, your, 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 your cut, your 20% cut. Mm-hmm. So I felt like when I was able to see the ropes of things, 
it was easy for me who, to then tell who was bullshitting. Exactly, you can decide. Exactly. Okay, so are you even a manager for me? Because I know more than you. Even you know, like, exactly. You. And exactly. I, because I because I'm independent. And then the only person that knows, I mean, sorry, no one knows more about your brand than you. Mm-hmm. You you built it. You yeah. will know. So it puts you in the absolute boss, like CEO position of this. Mm-hmm franchise which you are do you know what mm-hmm. I mean this like brand which you are that okay I can judge properly because if you don't know what it's like to be independent or manage or how to navigate through this industry who, how can you do, how can you I tell me that you know who's your manager this is the problem with yeah. a lot of creatives they don't understand that this game is a business 100%. before you are creative there's so many talented people like you know how to create content you're, you're funny, you've got a personality, but then in the business side, you lack so hard, which is why they can just, these, these I'm on you, but they can just be dragging you like a rat on the height weight. They, they com- can just drag you. They'll convince you. you that you're actually supposed to be getting paid something that you're not. You're and not you even accept supposed that. to be, yeah. Very, very upsetting. Skip. I've heard so, I've heard so many stories, like honestly, like any creator, yeah, I would say, screw, if you're not a business person, because obviously because of my mum, mm-hmm. I, I had the business gene mm-hmm. in it. So. Exactly, because your mum did that. Yeah, because yeah, my mum yeah, did yeah. that. So, you know, so obviously I had the business gene. Yeah. I grew up in, in women in business, mm-hmm. do you know what I'm saying? Um, so I was able to navigate a lot quicker because I had business understanding of what was going on. And I said, I keep saying to people, I said, I'm a businesswoman first before I'm a creative. I love that. And that's how I was able to navigate the space so quickly because I, I understood certain things that people didn't. And trust me, I feel like a lot of brands take advantage of the naivety of especially black creators. They don't mind. They have no problem taking. They advantage don't. Of they us. they <laughs> really take advantage yeah. of black creators yeah. because again, when you have when you have people around you that work in agencies, like PR agencies, you then begin to see how much they're paying the the white influencers in comparison to the black influencers. And I feel like that's really down to the fact that a lot of black influencers don't focus on having a business understanding or understanding their worth mm-hmm. and feeling like sometimes these brands owe you they they you're like oh i owe them something because they came to me yeah as oh a the pro- opportunity yeah. the opportunity get, get paid get your fucking get paid. money get your fucking get, money bro. you know someone came you up to, you know what you know you know someone came to me recently actually and um they were like they wanted to pay me x amount for two shoot days and i was looking at them and i said no two shoot days content and press run so any Mm. press that wants to come in I have to do it and I was looking at them and I said sorry Uh, the rate wasn't the rate wasn't change (laughs) bruv yeah and then they were like oh yeah but you need to think of the opportunity I said opportunity to get you know who I work with as in they say oh but the exposure for you is good but how did you find me Nah. If I need exposure, you know who I am already. I'm. I'm good I don't, for it. I don't like, need good for it. I don't need no goddamn. I definitely need the exposure. I, I definitely need the opportunity. Exposure don't pay the bills. So don't keep the lights on. Just Perk, like. <laughs> that, listen, that's it. That's it. But yeah. I want to quickly move on because we have our very special game: win or bin. Win or bin. What's this? So we have topics of conversations, and you are going to tell me whether it's a win or a bin and why. I'm loving this conversation, by the way. It's very dynamic. Mm-hmm. Saucy. <laughs> so we have got. Are you ready? First I'm, of all, I'm prepared. Born ready. Yeah. I love that. We have got our first one. School dinners. Win or bin. So, did I like them? And I say win or bin. Mm-hmm. Um, school dinners. Were you for it? Against it? Bin. Why? Go always go home and eat proper food later because it just wasn't anything in school properly. I can tell that you were you were stick when yeah. you were in school. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was really you, then, school yeah. started at nine o'clock. You left at three o'clock. You waited till three o'clock before you went home. Mm. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. that's why you are, yeah you've got your bicep. Yeah, I just have to make sure. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three to yeah eleven fasting. <laughs> <laughs> it's every day. Just about school. I'll eat maybe small pasta that they have. Ugh, not even anything. You know, th- oh the pasta. Well, did you have the the pasta um, pots? That, that little in the little thing and it thing. was filled with water at the bottom disgusting and, and my foul. friends used to plow through them my friends nah. they used to plow through that and, I and just they'll thought, just pour have you ever seen food before like eating that because that's not how it's supposed to be it was so that watery they, it's watery. like a glass of water trust after. me I I water, you after you finish pasta, dripping, I just dripping ah. revolting food I'm just like how are you people eating this so I just For, couldn't nah eat. the food was nasty and then on top of that they'll just pour um, 
tom- uh, tomato paste and have an alternative. Ah. Either Tuesday was meatball, Wednesday was chicken, and it was chicken. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. That food was what, what too dead. Food? I, I, again, I never look back at that food. Once I left school, would, would I ever imagine that I only want to pass the pots again? Good Very old days. dead. Horrible Very food. De- horrible I'm food. not going to lie, yeah. If I had the opportunity to have a Wednesday roast, okay, uh-huh. for one more time, maybe, I would probably have it. Maybe, maybe I the, would have it. I remember the cookies in my school were cool, like just the little snacks. You know, uh-huh. they're massive cookies they used to have in school. I don't know if you ever had them in your. Canteen. With the Smarties, yeah, inside, there's yeah. one Smarties, and there was one that was like um triple chocolate. Triple chocolate. I used to clean those triple chocolates. That's it. But that was the only thing I could afford. <laughs> oh, I, I, mean, I, I wasn't was, up in I school. I think I was even was that first school meal. I can't remember. I wasn't up in school. I can't lie. They used to laugh at me. I was not up. I'm telling you, I was going through some. So some rough shit. I trying was talking to, trying to, to my build a personality. Sister, yeah. I was talking to my sister because like why did we have to suffer like this? Yeah. But I'm obviously get shoes from my shoes from shoes then. Oh. You know, shoes are now, shoes then. Then I remember the mouth of the shoe will open. As you start talking. It will start speak as you're speaking the two. It will speak, speak with you. You now get super glue, you now glue, glue it back. Out. You now close glue. it back, you go again. Yeah, squish it with your foot. For the next semester, so it can really hold. <laughs> So you can really hold. Yeah. When you look at the sole, there's no friction. Yeah. You know, there's it's smooth. It's just you think it's smooth? They just slide into school like Frozone. Just go <laughs> into school. <laughs> yeah. Was you a jack-up boy? You, you were giving me um, jack-up boy. No. I love f- clothes. Uh-huh. Well fitted. I used to make sure my stuff, I would sag my trousers, which I don't like to do if they weren't long enough. If they weren't long I'd enough. I'd make sure they fit nice because I was tall as well, so I didn't want to look like a jack boy. It made me ugh when I see it. The jack boys, so yeah. I made sure. I made sure my shit always fit right. jack boys alone was character building. It was it? No, for, did, did, when I, I see jack boys, I, I was one, like, I couldn't do it. jack boys are automatically cancelled. I remember the kids would always have jack and then their feet, they'll walk with pigeon feet as well. jack swinging around oh, the ankle. Oh, my dick. The <laughs> Them kids, I just say, walk correct, like, walk proper. Why are, you, why are you walking like this? So I just got nah, it's on me. Nah, my school, every, nah, my whole school, my whole school uniform, my whole school process was a, a fucking mess. I was, a, I was a mess at school, but yeah, no. Nah. Was you a good kid or a bad kid? I was, um, I was good academically, but I would talk too much and I would be like, yeah, I'd be a bit distracting. So I'd just be like joking, talking around, but I wouldn't like disrupt the lessons. But I don't know, teachers just had a problem with. But I, talk, but I feel like they were harsh on me anyway because I was mm-hmm. black, like. I'll say a word. I'm like, Kainan, I've told you. I'm like, why are you emotional? You're mm-hmm. like 30 and I'm like Relax. 14. Like, Relax. why are you crying at me? But Relax. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really that bad of a kid or anything like that. I was so bad. Had Jesus one Christ. fight. I was so bad. One. I had a fight first week at school. First week. First week. Of, first week. Because I went to a school where it was um, like, instead of year seven to year 11, it was like year seven to year eight. And then you went to a new school. Mm-hmm. So like middle school, up school, how did it yeah, America? Yeah, yeah. So I went back. I went to upper school, and um, I was I had a week. I had a fight with this fat girl at the, on my first week of school. What happened? So basically, oh god, I sound like I, I was a bit of a bully. I'm not gonna. Oh, lie to you were the instigator. I was, yeah. So basically, we was in science, yeah, yeah, and I was at the back of the class, and um, she had all this white stuff in her hair. And it was like a Tuesday science class. And she had all this white stuff in her hair. Like, you know, some of these girls are just a mess, in it? Yeah. So I was like, sis, you've got this white stuff in your hair. She was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was changing my house over the weekend. And I said, but bitch, it's Tuesday. But did you not shower? Like, I said, oh, bitch, it's what Tuesday. What was the did you not shower? Mm-hmm. So anyways, that like, she was feeding me because that's how I used to be. Like, I was like, but I was very smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a smart mouth, mm-hmm, innit? Mm-hmm, yeah. So when I was walking past, it was in the corridor. And I think I accidentally loudly said, I was like, oh, there's that fat bitch that's talking shit to me in science. Hey. So, <laughs> yeah, asking for the fight. <laughs> she was like, what, what the fuck did you say? And I was yeah. like, yeah, you were talking shit in science. What, yeah. bitch? And then, yeah, we had a fight. You scrapped it out. And then know. they put me in some fucking detention center. Since then, they I was on their radar since. Ever since. But I've changed. That's why I'm a Christian woman. I've changed. I'm different. Good. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I mean, after my fight, I just... I realize I don't like I don't like being physical. You don't like, like fighting, yeah. yeah uh, it's not no, it's I'm not all, nice. I'm all for the peace, yeah, nah. It's not. No, nah, it's, it's not. It's not nice. You never need. I feel like it shows it. It shows um emotional unintelligence. Yes. As soon as I finished fighting, I thought I wouldn't. I don't think it was worth it. I didn't gain anything out of it. We shook hands after, so I was like, we're cool now. Like, That's one thing about Mandem. Um, they will do floor blows. We'll and really be, bang you and then shake yeah, hands. They'll shake like, hands. This kid, I think his ear was swollen purple. He was a white kid because they were picking on me, man. They were picking on me, so um. They all did something to a teacher. The teacher, mm-hmm. they lured her into the center of the crowd. We were mm-hmm. doing football chants all day because these boys were football hooligans. Mm-hmm. These brummy white boys. The teacher walks into the center of the circle, 
Oh, you fat bastard. To the <laughs> teacher. They did that. Someone recorded it now. Now the teacher's reported it. They've said who was the ones that who were doing it. Yeah. All the white kids, they plotted and agreed that they would accuse me and the other black kid. Oh, no. Of a chance. How can a chance of 20 people be me and another black kid? So I'm, I get into isolation. I didn't know it was him. Uh-huh. I get into isolation. I sit down. I see just him. I'm like, where's the rest? I see that they've all plotted. And I'm thinking, bro, bro is it, are, are you like also here for the same thing? Yeah, yeah, bro. Apparently everyone told on us. Just us. I said, oh. What? So this one is a plot. Like, this one is a they were scheming. It's a it's a gang up. I found the kid after. I spoke to him. I heard that he was even laughing about my family situation at the time. He was laughing at other things like my clothes, my the car my dad was driving, this, that, this, that. So Obviously, sad. we up now, thank God. But uh-huh. the situations we were in, it was the butt bo- of his jokes. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, meet me out of school, bro. Like, I, I never... We ever, outside. Ever, I never, ever mm-hmm. wanted to fight someone. But Come I said, outside yeah, right now. Meet me out of school, bro. And everyone yeah. was like, wait, what? Kanan? Yeah. Kanan's trying to fight. I was like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Lives him out of school, bro. Took off the thing. He was doing, you swing first, you swing first. I thought, okay, I'm not going to swing on this kid. Is this you, Kanan? They said, no, stop swinging at me. I said, okay, okay, we're going. <laughs> Bro, I just dodged and banged this kid. As and you should. Obviously, now the locals found out. All right, I'm going to report to your school. Stop fighting. Then we stopped. We shook hands. We squashed it. From then on, the fact that they saw, that's the thing with bullying. When when you give it back that one day, they They'll realize, do it again. oh, you're not on You're going to give it back again. Yeah. And I don't think I'm going to fight you this time, though. Yeah. Because what if I lose next time? So mm-hmm. they, 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 they were they never on it alone. since. They never, ever since, they, it was never as harsh, ever. They, they, they calmed it down for sure. And I, I can't happy. imagine you being bullied. I just I wasn't always like this, was I? I was I was very skinny and um I had really bad eczema, so my skin was very very dry and inflamed, and then I was like a lot um it was like a bad kind of complexion, like the skin was unhealthy. You could tell mm-hmm. that I had scratched it a lot, this that. So like the girls would be like, oh yeah, you can't just blick, you know that blick, oh you're blick, yeah. Oh. I like black guys, but you're blick, you know my type, this that this that, and it was just always joking about me, like my skin was just literally a joke to them. So that's how it was and. The only thing I learned to do out of that, rather than coming away hating anything about being black, I learned to love everything about it instead and realise that they were literally all in the wrong. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes it feels hard to imagine that. Everyone's laughing at you, but they are all the weirdos. Mm-hmm. That's what I did with the Twitter situation, if you ever saw me through that. like Everyone was laughing at me for being on TikTok as a black kid, telling me, oh, why are you acting light skin? Why are you doing this? Two years ago, I was too dark. Now I finally feel good looking and proud of my skin and my face and this, that. And now I'm apparently acting light skin because I feel confident. It just shows everybody's internalized racism. Yeah. Everybody's internalized racism. Why am I lighter skinned because I feel better looking? Yeah. What are you literally why, well, saying? Why does it equate to like that? what yeah, are you li- literally unpack what you just said and think about it and reflect? Because I don't have time to fix your colorism. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So once you realize that all this bullying, all these things come from places of insecurity and places of racism, places of just hate, you don't you don't care about it anymore. So that's how I carry myself now. So maybe you might not imagine me getting bullied, but bro, I used to cry a lot. After school, oh, mommy was cool. School's fine. I go to my room and fucking hate everybody. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally every day. But yeah, that was it. That was my experience. Oh yeah. my days, it's crazy. I honestly, I feel like I love a Cinderella story. You know, I mean, because is that what you want to call it? That is, is a Cinderella. That's, it my, is, yeah. that's exactly my story. Like, growing up, I was heavily bullied. Mm. I was dark skinned, I was broke. Like oh. I'll never I will never forget how um obviously I grew up in a really uh, difficult situation and it was when the Nintendo Wii came out mm. and everybody had a Nintendo mm, Wii. Tennis, unboxing. And I didn't have one, but uh. because you know, sometimes you don't realise what you have or what you don't have when you're younger, you just accept that that's your reality. Mm-hmm. Then I talked to one of this mixed race girl and she was like, Oh, have you got a Nintendo Wii? And I was like, Nah, like what? Nah, I didn't get. What, I don't have one. She was like, "Oh, so what toys do you have?" And I was like, "I don't really play with toys <laughs> like that." Like, and she was like, "What? What? You don't have any toys?" And I was like, "No." She goes, "So what do you do?" And I was like, "Well, we've got a family computer." And she laughed at me. She laughed at me, and I said, "Fuck you, bitch." <laughs> well, I didn't say that, but honestly, at the time, it really hurt. Yeah, of course. But I feel like when you evolve out of those situations and you become somebody, and those oh. same people that were bullying you. Like, I've had guys that used to bully me that tried to move to me. Ah, oh, God forbid. Well, how do you even, do you, do you like, do you do I'm the like, whole thing? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm up. I'm up now. Go to hell. We ain't, we, yeah. ain't, we ain't the same, bitch. Mm-hmm. We ain't the same. But mm-hmm. nah, it's honestly, it's honestly beautiful. We really straight because we're talking about school dinners. But we go into school and then bullying. School then, bullying. Yeah. Up Bro, and the conversation is right. yeah, I'm, com- I'm enjoying it. The conversation is conversating. It, yeah, it's doing Her. just that. All right, so I would say school dinners. Bin. Bin, yeah. I'm going to say win for the Wednesday um, we, roast. Wednesday roast, okay, fair enough. Fair Wednesday enough. roast with a cauliflower cheese. Yeah, and a gravy. And a cornflake tart yeah. on the side as mm. dessert with custard. 
Okay, the custard was. Uh, I'm still gonna stick beer, but that custard with the. Did you have the cornflake tart? Um. Yes, and I liked it. I liked cornflake that. tart custard. That was the only bit I liked, but I don't yeah, know if that counts yeah, up for yeah. the other days. And the, the sprinkle chicken, cake. I didn't like those. You didn't like the sprinkle cake. I don't like cake. cake too much. No. You weird. You definitely <laughs> weird. All right, we have got a win or bin. Extended foreplay. Do you know what? I've never talked about sex publicly. I always hide it because I don't want my mom to know that I've had sex. I never. <laughs> I thought my mom would find out that I've had sex the day I have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm never gonna let that woman purely know. Purely virgin. But exactly, purely virgin. I've never admitted it online that I've ever had sex ever. But you know, we'll talk about it because I'm actually a very sexual person, but I don't talk about it publicly. But um, extended foreplay. You said um. How so long is we talking about play around here? Because I was reading online, some guys are like, you know, there's some guys they just do the boom, 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 yeah, and then quick things, yeah, and then and yeah, go on, yeah, and then penetration. Mm. What is a good foreplay time for you? I think everything that makes a foreplay just before it. So just um, before, yeah, from kissing through the doorway, as in as in the, in the mm-hmm. movies, clearing the table, yeah, clearing the table. I think that should go on for a good. I think a good 10, 15 minutes. Respectable timing. Yeah. I yeah, was really you're gonna take lie. your time on me. There's gonna be people that fucking lie. I say, you know, the simps. What is it? Oh, I say, oh, 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, 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 rubbish. <laughs> you, you know, you know. that's even If you don't pull your pants down, pull your pants. If you don't pull your pants down. Spread, 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 spread. Shit, shit, shit. I'm finished. No, but no, yeah, yeah, 10, no. 15 minutes is, yeah, is a respectable really respectful time. time. Of like working on each other, taking turns, back and forth, back and forth. By then, 15 minute mark the tension is so high we're at more than ready like yeah i don't ready. like the boom 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 thing but mm. i also don't like don't don't <sighs> don't be kissed on my te- neck for 20 minutes yeah yeah no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm bored by now do you know what yeah, yeah. you know there's some people yeah that lips for one hour yeah i'm not into that like school children in the park yeah i, I can't kiss i don't know how much saliva you guys really have but there are some people point. that lips for 45 minutes Mm-mm. they can't just kiss him go for a bit just lips it and kiss it and kiss it. listen to me I can't I can't do all of that like, like one couple are in you school. single am I single yeah I'm very single you're very single very single yeah not committed to much are you are you single and searching or single and having a good time um never searching no I feel like searching is a recipe for failure mm-hmm. yeah because you're looking for something you never look for the thing it just comes like it just comes yeah because like if you look it for it you might settle trying mm-hmm. to convince yourself because you're in the mind of looking you mm-hmm. might convince yourself but i'd say just enjoying like you're chilling yeah you're I'm, chilling I'm, that's what the man never always be saying you're yeah, like so. you chill. i'm chilling i'm, I'm chilling. chilling i'm chilling I'm i have a question for you yeah Go ahead. are you are you open to the idea of dating someone seriously now or you have for, here for a good time Right now. Because you're young. Nice Listen, thing, yeah. I have a, my, my little brother is about to be... Tw- is he 20 already? Is he 20? He's about uh, to be 20 in December. S- <laughs> Please. Know. He's about to be 20. And um, he's been in a long relationship, like four or five years. Okay. And I said to him, if, if it was my choice, I'd be like, lad, you need to be outside. Yeah. You need to be... I, I can't fathom. Me, if I, I'm going to tell the girls are 21 years old. 20, 19, 20, 21. I don't know what you're doing in a long-time relationship. I have no fucking clue. I'm sorry. Because, honestly, you don't want to be... What's the word? You don't want to be thinking what ifs and wondering and thinking you want to explore when you're older. Like, imagine you're now 35, mm-hmm. but you never got to do this. You never got to experience what it's like to be with your friends out in this place, in this outside, country, yeah. outside. Mm-hmm. Like, not even just end goal... Uh, another person mm-hmm. but like at least carefree that carefree feeling that no nobody yeah. to answer to literally it's a responsibility like being in a relationship is partly responsibility so bro just not having that and being outside is an experience in itself sometimes I don't get no play but at the end of the day I had fun and I felt free my friend. yeah you didn't feel like you, you had someone at the edge of your corner yeah. there's, no, there's no this no like that. that 100% and also yeah. yeah let me say something you don't know what you I feel like you don't really know what you like if you're not outside yeah. and that's not uh, what i mean outside I, d- I don't believe in hanky panky fucking everybody up and down but i believe in in like dating multiple people getting to know yeah, yeah. You, know, you don't know what you like, like there's so many people in the there's world there's so many people really in the world and i thought when i was when i was eight uh 17 16 when i lose my virginity 15 Same. there was a certain guy that i liked 
And I thought, that's my husband, yeah, that's my yeah. boyfriend. But the also, more I went and tried different things, the more I realised that there's certain attributes in this guy that I like and there's certain attributes in this guy that I don't like. Yeah. And I started to formulate who I thought was someone that I thought yeah. I could be with for long term. But if you're not having those experiences and you've locked down to what you think exactly. is the perfect person. You only know as much as you know. Like You only know as much as, trust me, know, and as you yeah. evolve and you're like, hold on, you're not giving me what I need. You start to realize that, hold on a second, this person is not for me. And exactly. you've just wasted 60 years of your life. What you didn't know was a red flag, might be the biggest red flag, because mm-hmm. you were there from how old, 16, for you, I have no clue, so. You know them kind, yeah. of, you know them kind of relationships, I'm just deaf to it. When I, sometimes I how get a lot of damage. Huh? How did your brother manage? Oh, shit, it's even my brother. Yeah, I'm thinking, <laughs> is it not your own family? Do you know, I'm happy for him. He's doing his thing, innit? Big up, big up. Big up, big up. Shout out your team. Yeah, big up, big up him every time. Yeah. I have a question for you. So I know the last relationship you were in was quite public. Uh, Moving forward, mm-hmm. are you are you a lover boy where you're like, oh, I need to, you know, what's your star sign? I'm a Gemini. Don't know oh, yeah, baby. I always get bad things about that. No, because honestly, you're you are. I think Gemini's and Libras are quite similar in a sense. Are you Libra? I'm a Libra. Okay. So, are you a lover boy? Where it's like, oh, do you know what? Yeah, I want to show off my girl. I love to show off my girl. I love my girl to be part of me. Or has this one taught you? Do you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna when I when I post my girl, she's gonna have an emoji on her face. <laughs> <laughs> As in me. <laughs> like that. Um, the the reason I posted it in the first place is because I am a lover boy. I've always mm-hmm. been. I've always like, bit like I take pride in who I've decided mm-hmm. is my girl, and like, hopefully, it's a good representation of me as well. Like, mm-hmm. you know, this is the woman that matches what I'm about. She's mm-hmm. she's her own person. But look, I'm proud of it. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that's the funny thing is I didn't even post it when we were together. I posted. A, that was my talking stage. I posted that. Like, I just felt. Yeah, no, I was just confident. I was like, you are someone I'm going to take seriously through. Like, mm-hmm. when I know, I know. And when I'm going to put my energy into you, I would do it. So I just, that whole, like... So the talking stage, you, even, was, you was posting girls in the talking not stage? Not even talking stage. I don't even do talking stage. I'm sorry, but, like, how, how that, what's the better word? Um, Dating. Just as we started linking up. I met, her, I met her at ASOS, and I just thought, you know what? Linking. Yeah. Posting, join link. I was that you know, Maybe I'm damaged. Maybe I'm yeah. damaged. Maybe I'm damaged. Maybe you haven't met maybe. a guy that's just as straightforward as yeah. me. I'm very honest with myself. And uh-huh. I'm like, damn, like, I'm going to take you seriously. And like, I'm not going to be around the bush about it. I'm not going to lie. I don't need to get to know this person. But I like you. Everything that I look for right now is what you have. So I love that. I posted it. And then with time, I thought, okay, let's forget that even exists now. We have to focus on our in real life connection. Yeah. And then we did that. And then I ended up wiping her a couple, like a month later mm-hmm. after the videos went viral and stuff. And then from then, it was just the natural feeling of it. And naturally, I will always just post who I'm comfortable with, who I'm with. And yeah. that being my goal, I have no problem posting her. Has it made me a bit more reluctant to do it again? Yes, because mm-hmm. people are very weird. People are very difficult online. People are very yeah, weird. Yeah, like I couldn't post after that without them just obsessing about her and like making me feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Some people get insecure about her and... I mean, she was brown skin, I guess, and people were like, "Oh, I knew you would never go for a dark skin girl." And I'm just like, "Jesus Christ!" Well, she was dark skin. She, she was like, she's a quite like a brown skin, but like, I just, I just, yeah. There's just always a problem, and there's always something to say, and this that, and yeah, it, it becomes a bit difficult online being so in the public eye. In like, the public eye, there's always going to be a problem, but that was never the root of a problem between us. That was mm-hmm. never the reason we broke up. That was just there, and it existed. That was just there. Yeah. I think when I see when I see situations like that. Mm-hmm it makes me and, and not just you um i think that there's been a couple situations where people be quite public and mm-hmm. it's like i'm like that i am a lover girl i will post you i will post your bum cheeks mm. <laughs> i want everyone to know this is my baby you ain't yeah. this is what this is my baby but then you have p- you you then open yourself to the opinion yeah of strangers in your relationship and that could get quite toxic. And I felt like that 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 that's my biggest fear because me, yeah, my mind is fucked like then you have bitches DMing you like, yeah, I saw your bae in Nando's. Mm. She he was um he was with a girl, um, and then the girl ends up being his sister. But you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, becomes, it becomes headache. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's when it breaks down to how strong you are as a couple then. Yeah. Because like one thing I take pride in is that my exes or my whatever girlfriend I'm with, they will never ever have a fear of me cheating on them. Because mm-hmm. 
why would I, that's bad? Like, Even why would I? Nigerian man, you are. Huh? So, yeah, as a Nigerian man, sorry, I have to fight this every time because we don't cheat. <laughs> 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 How, why should you have a fear of me cheating? Like, why should mm-hmm. you even be speculating or nervous or checking from my foot? Like, the my duty as someone who, you know, reassurance is a thing. It's part of a relationship, reassuring. So, I feel, I want to feel reassured, but I also mm-hmm. want to reassure you that no, no fear of me cheating, no f- turning my head, no nothing. So, if, oh, he was seeing out with this, she's not even going to feel fear, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, like, I don't want my girl to be worried if I haven't answered my phone now. Oh, is he cheating? Why would you think mm-hmm. I'm cheating? Don't, don't, don't you think I respect what we have? Do you know what I mean? So that is like a goal for all my future relationships. Or I just, I just hope that they never fear it. So then, in the public eye, if one thing you are is just short on each other, mm-hmm. I feel like nothing should shake you. And it never did. That's why I said like we never had a problem about the public eye because mm-hmm. I just made sure that like I was used to it. She wasn't. She actually was never an influencer before that. So um, it was obviously a lot like a lot of messages, a lot of new things, and I was just like, look, bottom line, I've got you. Like we're in real life. Yeah. The only people in this relationship are us. They all feel like they're in a relationship. Trust me, they talk like they are. Mm-hmm. Where's our girlfriend? Oh, our girlfriend looks good today. This, mm-hmm. that. Yeah, all that. But they're not involved. It's just me and you. So that was like the kind of reassurance in the conversations we had to make sure that we always just knew what it was between us. Yeah. I feel like it's amazing. And the fact that you even got that understanding of how important communication is and key. also reassurance. Because I feel like guys find it very difficult to be to verbalize them to verbalize themselves Mm -hmm. and there's something there's sometimes where all a woman needs is for a guy to just say babe it's cool it's okay it's all right that's part i think that's a manly trait to be able to tell your woman like we've got this i've got you and that's the bottom line of it like Mm -hmm. that kind of reassurance to your woman and her having that trust in you it only shows that you're gonna have a successful home together if you are gonna go that if far. If you're gonna go that far. You know what I mean? So like that is a trait that I think I don't know, I kinda of saw people around me have that trait like my dad and stuff like that. And I was like, Yeah, mm-hmm. you need that trait where you're like, Yeah, we've got this. It might be tough right now, but we'll get through it. We'll get through that. Like we you we know we know what it is, like between us, so it doesn't matter. You know so I mean? is that is that chapter completely closed now? The ex, like huh? yeah. yeah, pretty much. Cause I don't wanna cause you know me, me, I am I'm, I'm a what what did they call me? I'm not Cupid. What do they call me? I'm the best wingman you'll ever have. Do you have like somebody in mind? I've got bad girls. Listen, I've got bad girls in mind. Who, who, who do you think is you? I don't, I don't ever like look at. Um, what, who do you, what's your type? That's a good question. Um, so first and foremost, Nigerian girls, because I'm Nigerian. So that's what I know. So the Caribbean girls, no Shellyan for you. <laughs> you know what? No Shellyan. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Okay. Okay. So my type is people who are rich with culture. But then okay. coming on top of that will be my culture. Do you get? Because obviously okay. I just know it. So that's my main lead and foremost type. Then African, because you get it, but you're not exactly from yeah, the same place. Yeah, we need to have a banter. We need yeah, to have we need yeah. to know what it is and that we can at least relate on certain things. Mm-hmm. Then strip it back a bit more. Caribbean, black. Then maybe African American, because I don't know how much they know the culture. Okay. And then like whatever Anyone else. else. Yeah, like Anyone Latina, else. Yeah. Asian, whatever. Like, yeah. whatever. But like mainly... Is it, when when I know that you're black and like I, you know that you're black at least like you have that in you, you know the culture, you know the thing. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. my, that's my type. Like, uh, so just Nigerian. Not just Nigerian. I'm 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 just open a culture, to all, pers- culture person. But my favorite, my I will have a lot. Your of preference, of yeah. course. People like you that, have no, a like I'm literally saying it as a, as a preference, not what people say. Preference and like, I will never date this because yeah. this is this and I don't yeah. like you're this. You're open. Girl. Yeah, but preferably that. And way. then then um. Like wider, like Caribbean black girls, everything. No, I mean, okay. So after so you, so what's the next thing? Oh, next things. Okay, cool. So that's culture. Then, um, type of thing. I like a girl who, I like the traits you have in terms of being business minded. I like that you know that and stuff. And like, um, if I just feel like you can never fail. You know, okay. yeah, you have your mindset, Power. and I like that because then someone who has their mindset, trust me, I'm not. I I love to be the all the time, but sometimes I crash. Mm-hmm. So if I have someone in my ear who know, like someone in my corner who's like back me the whole way. Did you forget who you were? Did mm-hmm. you forget you could do this? Don't mm-hmm. ever doubt yourself, da, 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 like all that stuff. That's my type, like someone who's like, just naturally compassionate and understanding, but still has that kind of like ambition in them as well. Okay. So together we're dangerous. Like together we are, we're just Beast two mode, people. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're two, we're two people who are always going forward and we, they never know our next move. And then, yeah, I don't know, what else? Someone is funny, like just typical stuff like that. Funny and, um, oh, a type I look for as well. Something that my mom has, just that natural, that feminine energy of nurturing, that maternal, yeah, okay. that nurturing, like you know, if I'm sick, you just know how, how to take care of man. If the kids are feeling like this, you know how to do this. Like, I don't know, something that you just see in your mom. You know you, mm-hmm. how your mom does it. I think Freud said something about it. 
that that um thing. Yeah. Freud, uh, Freud, is it Freud, Freudian, Freudian, Freudian kidney? That people fancy okay. their mums or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. that. <laughs> whatever, whatever that is, yeah, just like that. That kind of like nurturing energy. That's my type, I guess. So, well, ladies, so who who fits that uh, you category? Guys, you guys, you guys hear it? I don't know if you guys. Um, yeah, he's made his list. Yeah, I've made, so made my list. It's pretty if simple. If you feel like, if you feel like you're there in it, like oh, you have to uh, be able to cook as well. Sorry. Oh yeah, you need to chef it up as well. Yeah, what specifically, we... Nigerian food or can we do bolognese and um, chicken sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Toast. No, if yeah, I'm not. My mom, will, my mom will drill the Nigerian food knowledge into you anyway. Hundred percent. No, okay. you don't have a choice. Well, guys, you've had it. You've had it. Yeah, you don't have a choice. It's CNT, baby. Can I ask you a question? I'm scared. Because you ask questions. So if you have to ask that, it's going to be so funny. <laughs> how would you rate your intelligence skills? How like how smart am I? Mm-hmm. Out of 10. Like out of 10? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, sorry. Um, I'd say... It's like a tough question. I'd say... Wait, what's a 10? Like, who's, who's this, like, smart? It's an open question. Intelligence skills. Okay, uh, what would you rate yourself? Like, why are you asking me questions? Why are you <laughs> asking me about question for question? Okay, um, maybe a seven. Okay, seven. Six, well, so we are going to put that to the test. Oh God! Because we have guys, of course, our favorite segment in which we test our co-host cultural knowledge, and we call the this cultural. the cultural questionnaire. I hope it's not your lingo or something because no. I'm not very good. We call this "Are you smart?" Let's hope so. For the last time, Kanan, are you smart? Yes. Yes, I'm smart. Okay. Mm. You're scaring me. I don't know what you're going to ask. So, we've got 10 questions. Okay. You can only give me one answer. You can't give me Bobby, Susie, Adam, Becky, George. We are going to lock in one answer. And if you are correct, you get one point. Okay. And hopefully you get a good number so you can be somewhere yeah. strong when out of 10 maybe you know I'll see if I'm above a 7 okay let's go above a 7 you said 7 I, I gave 7 out of 10 you so if, I, if okay. I get more than 7 I guess that's I have right. hope for you are you ready no okay no yeah I'm ready sorry question number 1 okay which English city is known as the steel city the steel city mm-hmm. I've got monkeys um, the steel city so I'm guessing they like, probably manufacture a lot of stuff um, that'd be Birmingham. Are you locking in Birmingham? Yeah, okay, I don't have any other thing. Okay, we're locking in Birmingham. Wait, Steel City. Is that, it begins with a B though, like Blackburn or some shit. I don't know, hold on. What are we locking in? Do you know what? I'm not gonna be sure of anything, so I'll give Birmingham. Okay, we are locking in Birmingham. Birmingham. And that is. Incorrect. Incorrect. Yeah, the answer is? is Sheffield. I don't fucking know that. Why, why is it called the Steel City then? <laughs> Question number two. Copenhagen is the capital of where? Denmark. Are you locking in Denmark? Denmark, 100%. Yeah. How many shoots have you had in Copenhagen? Never. I just know it. <laughs> I did geography in school. Okay. Denmark, that is correct. Well yeah. done. In Greek mythology. What is the name of the winged horse? Pegasus. Are you locking in Pegasus? Locked in, locked and loaded. We're locking in Pegasus. That is correct. Yeah, I like Greek mythology. You like Greek mythology? I think it's very fascinating. Anyways, you went to school with white people. <laughs> Question number four. Before finding fame, Kim Kardashian worked as an assistant for which wealthy socialite? I feel like I know this. Hold on. Kim. Before finding fame, Kim Kardashian once worked as an assistant for which wealthy socialite? Paris. Paris Hilton. Of course. We are locking in Paris Hilton. Yeah. Of course I know that one. Paris Hilton. Yeah, when you said socialite, because it just means jobless. So I thought, who's jobless? Like Kim knew, and I was like, Paris. Literally, that's what I did. You wrong. <laughs> you wrong. You wrong for that. But that is my fucking correct. Thank you. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> say, yeah. No, 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 no. You yeah, wrong for yeah, what I you said. I was wrong. I was like, wait. You wrong for what you said. 
Question number five. The song What's Love by Fat Joe and Ashanti samples which famous singer? Produces a bonus point for the title of the original song. What? What's love? What's love? That song. What's mm-hmm. love? A sample of that song. That's before my time. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Um, who was on the song? What's love? Who's on that? Fat Joe and Ashanti. And it's home. That song samples another, another song. song. Well, when was that song released? That's old as hell. <laughs> How am I supposed to know the sample of that? Um, okay, I'm gonna guess a random song. I wouldn't even be able to guess the song, sorry. You I don't, I don't know song. what time frames we're talking about. I can't even think of what year that even would be from. I would just guess a song from 2006, a song was released 2004, do you know what I mean? Like, okay, we have got no answer. No answer, I'm sorry. The answer is, the song samples Tina Turner, What's Love Got To Do With It? What's love got to do, got to is do that, with it? Where do they sample that in the song? What's love? It was just the actual lyrics, yeah, not the beat. I was thinking of the beat, sorry. I was thinking from a producer's point of view. What's love got to do with it? What's love yeah, got to do? I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. that was actually an easy question, wasn't it? It, it was a pretty easy question. Yeah. <laughs> you are thinking, you are not, thinking too broad. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to hold it back. <laughs> right, question number six. 50 Cent is famously feuding with which West Coast rapper? West Coast? Yeah. The game. Are you sure? Famously feuding now? Mm-hmm. Now? 50 Cent doesn't have beef now. Does he have beef now? 50 Cent is famously feuding with which West Coast rapper? I'm going to say the game. I have no other clue. You I are locking really famous beef. in the game. Yeah, the game. Ugh, am I wrong for that? Because I know about 50 Cent, but like... <laughs> Go ahead, tell me. That answer is correct. Oh, thank it God. I knew game. it. They used to have beef back in the day because they tried to squash them in G units together, but they didn't get along. I'll be studying Since the, the game thing. was publicly dismissed from G unit by 50 Cent in 2005, over 100 diss records have been released in what's fast becoming one of the longest feuds hip hop has yeah. seen. Oh, they're still be. Okay, they're they're still are, be they are. Okay. To the death. I thought they squashed 50 it. 50 Cent nah. is to the death. Yeah, nah, 50 Cent. He about that. He about that. Yeah. He about that. he been shot. Yeah, no. Question number seven. Which of these is not a real sport? A, foot golf. B, hand rounders. C, chess boxing. Shall I say again? Foot golf is a sport. Hand rounders? Yes. You said? And then, yeah, go on. Foot golf, hand rounders, chess boxing. Hand rounders is in the sport. You locking it in? Yeah. You can't pitch and bat with a hand. Okay, we are locking in B, hand rounders. That is correct. I knew it. Big I asked more. I asked more. I knew it. Big up yeah. the hand rounders. You, you yeah. How can you pitch and bat with your hand? Look at you. Uh, intellect. Yeah. Uh, intellect. That's what I'm thinking, Diva. Intellect. Question number eight. Finish the lyrics. Oh God, I'm good at this one. He says, hey, sister, it's really, really nice to meet you. In those words, you meet you or meet you? Hey, say again? Yeah. Yeah, hey sister, it's really, really nice to meet you. Yeah. Ah, uh, blank, that blank, I've really drawn blank. Say it one more time. He says, hey sister, Is it's wait, really, where does really the nice start? to meet you. Yeah. He says? Yeah. Nah, I don't even know what song that is. Hey sister, no, I do. I do know what's on the aces. He says, "Hey sister, it's really, really nice to meet you." Uh, 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 I don't know it. I don't know it. I don't know it. No, I've blanked again. Oh, no, no answer. We've got no answer. The correct answer is, "Hey sister, it's really, really nice to meet you." I just met this five foot seven guy who's just my type. Oh my god, it's my like. 
I'm sorry, I'm a massive Kanye fan. <sighs> Not that massive then, aren't you? Not that massive. Oh, that's really that embarrassing. That is a selfie, Kanye West, America That is boy. really embarrassing. Yeah, it is. It's very bad. No, I didn't flop that. Oh. Yes, it's okay. He says, hey, sis, feeling nice with you. I, I just, just met this guy who's just, just my type. type. It's just such an off-putting lyric. Yeah, you have, to, you have to put it. That's why they want to sing it. I have to say it. Yeah, the way you said it. Hey, sister. Yeah, stop. Listen, don't worry. Okay, you you know got two you're, more you're questions. Nice you can rectify yourself. True or false? Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean was his first UK number one. False. False. Wait, UK number one? Yeah, true or false? Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean was his first UK number one. That came out, what do you mean? That came out 20... Early 2010s or like mid 2010s. First UK number one, Justin Bieber. Baby had to have hit number one in UK or something. I'm gonna say false. Okay, we're locking in false. That is incorrect. What? It's actually true. And that was his, um, it topped the top charts in 20 countries, including United Kingdom. It was not. I don't think Baby was number one. Baby didn't hit, oh. Baby didn't hit number one? Baby, they disrespecting Baby, bro. Uh, to be fair, Light Skin Justin was. I thought it was going to be number one. Was his prime. Oh, yes. Um, um, hey, 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 six pack everything. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, so yeah, jealous yeah, when yeah, I was a kid. Yeah, I was a bad, like, he was a bad beat. He was giving was, us bad beat. guy's beef. living life on easy mode, man. Question number 10. A group of lions is called a uh, what? But, no. Is that a pack? Pack of lions? Yeah, a pack of lions. Okay. We've got a pack of lions. That is. Incorrect. I fucked this time. It is called a pride. I know that. You what know what you said. Pri- you did. You said. Pr- I thought I was like he nearly got it. I know that. Oh, that's primary it's school right. shit. It's pressure, man. It's that's pressure. pressure you, d- d- what I get like five? You got six. Oh. I believe you got six. Sometimes, sometimes I do tend to 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 to, to count wrong. So you mm. might have got five. But I'm gonna say six. <laughs> We're gonna put Kaden on the leaderboard. It is gonna pop up on the screen. Yeah, what do other people get? Like, so do people use this? Your, We've got a new leaderboard, but usually averages around six. Hmm. I guess I'm, I guess I'm not smart then. So you're not you're not smart, <laughs> but you're not like you're not dumb either. Hot topics of the week, baby. <laughs> We're going to be on to hot topics of the week. Of course, it has been a chaotic week, and we are going to start with our hot new releases. Do you have any hot new releases this week that you thought were songs? Songs, movies. I know that, that song on TikTok finally dropped. Um, that one that she was previewing for ages. Is and that on the list? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that, yeah. with Tion Wayne in it. Yeah. What do you think of the Tion feature? Right. So, I've, God, are we gonna I'll, be? I'll are we gonna be honest? It. Are we gonna lie? <laughs> are we gonna be honest? So no, the song I won't is called honesty. Soldier, and it's from someone called Hi Lee. But um yeah, no, all I know is it took like a couple of years to like drop it. Yeah, I believe we, because the actual the, the the sample that she sampled was a section of another song ooh. from Buju. So that the bit that was going viral is already a piece of another song. So she gonna that, get that cleared. So clearly it took a while to clear in it. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? Like also another thing, I don't care, I'ma say it. I saw on her TikTok that she was saying, you know, Congolese people is the best and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. Okay, cool. Rep your country. But please do not negate the fact that the viral section that you are singing on is from a Yoruba song and you are singing Yoruba lyrics. Why didn't you sample Congolese? Huh? Why didn't you sample Congolese? Why did you not sample a galopole kumakala to Why did you not sample Why did you not sample... <laughs> you, I, I, I don't mind yeah. them sampling Nigerian music. No problem. But please respect the thing. That's all I'm saying. Don't mm-hmm. sample Yoruba music uh, and then have it. a have a Nigerian artist on your remix and then try to talk about yeah, but Congolese that cool down. Mm. Anyways, the song when it first came on the internet, I was quite pleased for her. I really yeah, liked no, it. It was, it was banging. I liked it. I thought the beat was good. I thought that it was the first time I actually heard the song, 
period. I didn't even know Budgie had the sample until it then kind of uncovered. It took a long time to clear. So, but we finished doing See, I carry my hustle for no, my soldier. No, no, no. We carried that Every, hustle. Everyone was carrying it, yeah. We were carrying it till we were tired. After I a while, you can, only carry, you can only carry for so long. I thought it was out because I just heard it so much. <laughs> we, you can only carry your hustle for so long. We carried our hustle for a while. <laughs> yes, carry was... We carried. After a while, we were tired. We left it. So, the hustle now came back. We now picked it back up. But this time, it was with Tia Tia Wayne. Wayne. He wrong for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tion is wrong I'm, for I'm that. Gonna, I'm gonna play the verse quickly. I have just you saw the TikTok today. I've got it. Yeah. Play the play the verse. Obviously, um, we might have to cut this out because it's oh, um, copyright. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's hear it. Yeah, I, I just don't know what he was um, going for. It just, I, was it? So what's this about it being a Christian song? Apparently, it's a Christian song. Is it a gospel song? Apparently, it's like about like faith. I don't know. Someone, so everyone's saying this is a Christian song, Tion, but then he's rapping about tax. I have no idea, but no. then we have to talk about if it's a Christian song. Why did you call Tion? I just don't understand. I mean, I guess his name is big, but like. Uh... But there's Christian artists still that are bigger. The thing is, my thing is whether it's not whether he's big or not. I don't know whether the verse was free. Did he chat? He, I don't know whether how long it took him to do that verse. Mm, but yeah. I feel like this, and this is what a lot of new people come on the scene and make the mistake of. They see a bigger name. Don't say, yeah. And that is automatic reverence. Your song was a viral song. We never liked your song because of who was on it. We never liked your song because of who was on it. We liked you because you was an artist. You allowed the artist to come on your song because of who he was with a shit verse. And because it's Tion Wayne, you were like, ah, yes, at least it's Tion. Tion yeah. Respect your thing sometimes. Yeah, I'm not like, even going to lie. Would Tion write that for himself? Exactly. And then the thing is, though, <laughs> as well, would you confidently tell Tion change that? No, probably no, not. You wouldn't like, say, oh, it's Tion Wayne. Yeah, it's Tion, Tion Wayne. Wayne. So therefore, you've not created music the way you would. You would. It would. Yeah, Just, I don't respect it. I thought like, maybe she knew it wasn't a great, it wasn't a great, because a lot of times yeah. what happens is that, um, the artist says, "Can you can you do a um, can you do a hook for me, or can you do a, a sixteen bar for yeah, me?" Yeah. They'll do the sixteen bar and they'll send it back. They'll they'll say, "Okay, this is my sixteen bar. Here you go." I don't know whether that was probably the first draft. That was probably the first draft. <laughs> that's, like, that's freestyle. Yeah. Freestyle. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Maybe it's like, oh, what? Fifty minute left on the on the yeah, studio yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we squeeze this in. What was that girl talking? What's that? What's her name? Play the song quickly. Play that, play that, yeah, yeah. Right. Yo, T Wave you know, from the night. Uh-uh. So you can have that back. I, I, you got that? What? What? You wanna? What? No, bounce it. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Send, send it back. That's how that looks to me. There was no passion. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. There was like no. There was, it. it wasn't that bad. His mm mm is usually a bit more. Mm. This yeah. one was mm 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 mm. This one was like mm mm. I was like, what's the mm mm? Instead of mm mm, it was what? Mm mm. So, yeah, I just feel like. In terms of the vision and the direction of that song and the vibe it gave me, I thought the Tion, when I heard Tion, when I heard he was linked, I thought the verse would be different. I thought he would tap into the Man, Niger. Start singing it. Tion, like, yeah, T went from the. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I thought he would go hop into it like her. I thought he was going to jump the beat. I thought he was going to do it. I thought he was ride a melody. I thought he was going to ride it. Yeah. He wanted to, he didn't ride, he uh, didn't ride uh, it. He, he allowed the, the, the tide to sweep him. And yeah, I thought I he was going to ride the beat. He, the, the tide swept him, like, and the thing is. Tion is a good rapper. 100%, yeah. He's, He's one of the biggest we have in the UK. He can sure. spit. So for you to come come like that, I feel like it's because you don't rate her. Would you think of sometimes, like sometimes like as creators, you need to you need to look at people and be like, do you actually rate my team? There's something yeah. you don't rate your team and that's okay. You don't need to work with them because they're bigger than you. Mm. Would Tion give that to Steph? Do you actually like me or am I just viral am right Am I just now? viral? Like, you gave <laughs> me a... Sh- she, she, and you gave me a dead hook and you didn't respect her enough to say where was your team sister mm, mm. where was your team to say that's a dead hook or were you like that's a dead hook by Tion Wayne yeah do you know what I'm saying Tion wouldn't would you think Tion would give that to, to Steph Bro, if, do you if, think Tion would give that to if Gina, Miss Banks if Janaiko said no let's do international is that what he's right do you think Tion would give that to Beyonce no come on man like, like yeah, he, nah. he took like come on There's, there was no respect in it they didn't respect you when he wrote that and you didn't respect yourself when you cleared it. 
that's the problem. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see. Like my thing is that yeah, everyone's on a TikTok thing. Like I'm, I'm looking for longevity. People come and go in this game. Would that Especially turn up the thing? Girl, turn that. We haven't seen him since. Yeah. Since he no, no, that, 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 that. He came and went. He's still hey, talking. Hey, he's too. Hey, he's yeah. even talking to the moon still. We don't know where he is. Hey, rest on it. Rest on it. That was my guy before. Is it your guy? <laughs> I helped the song go viral at least. <laughs> yeah, but oh, is it? After I went viral, I never heard of. <laughs> after you went viral, I got eleven million. No, I got twelve million views on the TikTok that I did of the song because he was like. Bro, yeah, like you should take the song. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, sure, of course. Like that's my guy. Like I love talking. to see my boys like uh, blow up. And then I heard the song in the car because I was driving him. We was going somewhere. The song was hard, and I was like, bro, this can go everywhere. Give mm-hmm. give me the song. I'm gonna do something on TikTok. Watch. Wow. I dropped it on Instagram Reels. So First, not yeah. Instagram, not TikTok. So on Instagram Reels, 12 million views on there. TikTok, it hit like one or two mil. So I was like, this is serious, that like, bro. I told mm-hmm. you, like, look, now they're gonna be using it for everything. So I'm blow up, and then them invites like yeah let's go club and then it, it just it faded out no no resentment to him I, I, I obviously there's a bit of like oh wow like you blow up and well you went to go and Beyonce and then they abandoned me yeah, yeah you went yeah, Beyonce yeah, me yeah, but yeah. at the end of the day it's his path he's I guess. still talking to the moon he's, he's still talking to the he's moon he's somewhere talking to the moon I'm happy, big up, big up him I think, and I the think moon. he got a five year, he got a five year feature recently so um, five year signing no 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 feature he like a song another song so um Okay, yeah, well he's doing this thing. Proud big of him, up, like yeah, honestly. Big, big up him. Big up, no, no, power to him. No shade, no hate. Big up him. Maybe, but people maybe. come and go, like do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, people yeah. come and then they're, you know, the viral thing is settled and they're not as peaking. They're not getting the invites. Yeah, like yeah, that anymore, it's not you know the same saying? anymore. So That's a, a love, I just love hope Island that music. she has longevity, like a love, love island fam. <laughs> I mean, Those, the, even they, they know I think it kind of did a, a TikTok saying oh when you know the next season is in a few months and he trust said me. the pressure's getting worse I said it's getting trust worse trust me the pressure I'm, I said, I'm glad you know because there's a difference between the hits are to my own home but someone like me who has just built the platform someone like you who has built the platform and then someone who was just on TV for a certain amount mm-hmm. of time that built that platform then and got the hype from that platform mm-hmm. that's why when people ask me would you go on Love Island I say no, I don't think so because nah. I don't need it one but two there's the no love, longevity yeah, yeah the, the Love Islanders is. actually want the security that I had in terms of working with these brands been worked with them mm-hmm. been sure that I could do this not just two seconds one one time I had this many followers next week I came out of Love Island with this much now I'm supposed to be now yeah, you well. have a good year run and then yeah. after like can we can we rem- like honestly and, and I agree with you there's, there's, a, there's a couple of Islanders who have had longevity but when you really think about it there's bear girls. The, the, the only times that these Love Islands are ever mentioned is in regards to Love Island. Bro, they come you, as Love Island. Do you, do you know how many people have been on each series? What, about 40 Islanders, 50 Islanders each season? Mm-hmm. No, even more, maybe 50, like 60. And then we can name on our hands how many people have flipped it well. Mm-hmm. There's the Molly, then we'll go to this person. I don't even think Amber, as a winner, as a winner, why are you not more famous than Molly? Do you know what I mean? Why are you it's, not that's more? That's very true. You know that's what I mean? very true. So things like that, I don't think... I can name on my hands people I know respectfully flipped it like okay you've done your thing Love Island was just a pure W for you Are you Ekin, I know Ekin you're set Ekin you're is set good. Ekin is clean do you know what I mean like when you know how this the money works in this game you know someone like Ekin is good for it mm-hmm. every deal cannot be a joke yeah, you can't exploit Ekin right now mm-hmm. Ekin's management is going to be premium mm-hmm. but then other people who have come to Casamo to just drink Briefly. cocktail and then Briefly. leave again yeah. they're fighting yeah. for their lives Doing every podcast, you, podcast, podcast. You might podcast, have quit your job, day. and honestly, I don't think it was a smart decision to quit that job. Go back. Yeah, go back. Go, go and back. reapply. Nah, see seriously, it, go see reapply it. and beg them. I say sorry. <laughs> go and watch Plato. Go and say sorry. And watch Plato. All right, let's move on to the next hot new release. We've got um, Bella's come out with her new v- EP, Adults Feel. Guys, make sure you check out. Do you know Bella? Bella, you know. Bella is a phenomenal artist. She is a R&B artist here in the UK. She is also a friend and sister of the show. Okay. And honestly, the girl is doing phenomenal things. Like, um, she came out with her first song, which was I got a hold on. Let me play it. Can I go Hollywood? Sorry, I'm trying to remember the song. Um, prototype, and then she came out with um, you're a, you're a, Bebe, I did caught up in a moment. So she had those two songs that I just came I'm from the EP, sure. and now she's had the full EP coming out. Do you know, I'm 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 just glad to hear more R&B in the UK. Talk to me uh, about this. Uh, okay, so as someone who is interested in music, at least I'm not any big artist, but at least I study a lot. Mm-hmm. I realize, yeah, our scene is lacking in some places, and what we take to in terms of what goes viral and who's getting the checks. Mm-hmm. Is not necessarily who I think is the most talented all the time. Agreed. Yeah. It's who's I, the most hype. Who's the most hype. And then a lot of the hype is built by maybe demographics that, why are we listening to the hype? Mm-hmm. Why is that the radio time? Agreed. So, yeah, I think our R&B scene is l- little to none. L- Ella May gets American features. She, I don't even think she, I've never seen Ella May. She don't claim us. Yeah. She, she don't fuck with us. Yeah, as soon as she's she grown up, she's seen where the scene is at for R&B. 
and half the time they're surprised she's British. They don't yeah. even expect it. They don't even expect it, yeah. So that just shows how undeveloped our scene is, like the fact that mm -hmm. it's a surprise. What, you're British? What do you mean you're British? What? I couldn't even imagine you singing like that. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, all mm -hmm. that stuff. So I feel like we definitely need more singers. And that's why I come in with, with the singing vibe one day. You're going to give us the yeah. Melodic, yeah. melodic thing. Oh, Honestly, I do miss, I think R&B is so sexy. And, and, mm -hmm. and again, like, Bella's one of those pioneers in this UK space. But the thing is, the question is, would UK accept her? Because people are like, there's no... There's no R&B in the UK. No, I need. I don't. I don't even like that question about if they accepted. They didn't accept Drake in Toronto before he um got the American co-sign. So, so he got big in Everyone America. Everyone has to have the so, American co-sign. So Lil Wayne said he was yeah. valid, and then he hopped on a couple of tracks. Then Canada claimed him. I was like, yeah, but that's the Toronto rapper Drake. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I want the people to maybe not be accepted, but just make good music at least, because people have ears and we need good music. But that's the but here, R&B is good thing. music. Same thing with LMA. Yeah. Same thing with I believe what's gonna happen to Bella. They have been making music for the UK culture, being UK citizens settled, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the UK is not budging. Not the budging. minute they go to America, when they get the feature, minute ready rich. they pass to America, that's when people here start recognizing. Right, and it's happened to it happens to a lot of creators and artists. If you don't have that US call sign, yeah. they don't appreciate you here it's not valid, because yeah. I feel like everyone here is close to go. Uh, uh, close to home it's like UK like when they talk about seven degrees of separation like everyone here is basically boys mm. like there's seven people that you know that's distant to you there's some people that I know that's distant to to, to Skepta mm, for example mm, mm, mm. maybe even three people me being in this Closer. place Cl yeah. do you know what I'm saying so we don't value our artists and our creators until they are, they they're like distant. They've reached the point They've where we feel like, like we can't, oh, reach, we them can't reach them anymore. Oh, now yeah, now they're valid. Now they're yeah, a celebrity to me. Exactly. Yeah, they don't, we don't appreciate the people who are creatives and are pioneering this mm -hmm. stuff. So um, yeah, no people like her who are doing genres that maybe aren't what's hot right now. Maybe she's not just kind for whatever feature on a song and trying to be a backing vocal for another rapper. Mm -hmm. Like the fact that she's doing her R and B music, I respect it and. I, I can count on my hands how many guys I know do R&B. Like, there's one guy I know, Nipper. I don't know if you know him. Nipper. Nipper shout I out know, to my um, guy. He, oh, he does, he does my, good R&B music. What's this guy called? I love him. Um, Jack, uh, Jack James is Who's another he? one. Jack James. Is he black? He's black. He is, uh, he's one of my favorite R&B artists. He's yeah. a guy here in the UK. He's like 22, 21. He's quite young. Mm. He's doing bits. That guy can really give us R&B with the pop in. He will even give us yeah, choreography. Yeah, no, I, 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 I love it. Like, like, I need to know more of them, actually. I, I want, I, I, things that they don't come out, I, like, I don't choose to see Diggity ever. I don't follow him on any social platform, but mm -hmm. I see him every day. Yeah. Everything, everything that's viral, everything that's that is him. But, you know, these R&B artists, they don't, yeah, they don't get the love that they deserve, of course, but I just want them to keep going to the point where they, they, they take it from us before before we give it to them, before we give them the recognition. Exactly. I, want to take it, I feel like a lot of times, maybe it's because of the conversation, the narrative that, that, that R&B has as opposed to the music that we are receiving now. R&B is very sexy, love, romance. We go to the other side and it's just pussy, 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 drugs, mm -hmm. drugs, drugs, drugs. Like are everyone people is even, depressed. Are people even open about their emotional and sexy sides? Like people, no. everything's cringy these days. Everything so, is cringy. So people it's don't sex, talk about that stuff. Sex is, has become... It, it, it's not romanticized anymore just but it becomes a physical it's now a physical thing where it's like yeah fucker 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 fuck so, so, pussy, something pussy, pussy, something pussy. men do to women or something yeah, uh, it's, it's, yeah there's no romance we don't have romance in music mm -hmm. anymore like I can't remember a song that's been charted that the theme was love love and like appreciating your partner and shit like that yeah no it's more we f we fucking get the bag. Fuck to get the bag. Yeah. Fuck her and then get your bag. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the conversations that I'll she be. She fucked like. me because I got the bag and then yeah, because uh, I, the, I got the blue tick and now she's fucking me. Yeah, all that we loved, we loved that. I yeah. don't know. We just don't. Maybe we don't believe in love anymore. I don't know. <laughs> but I would love R and B to be back because I'm a very. I love my old school R and B. Remember, R and B had its little blip in the UK. We started to have more. Um, like, I want to. Okay, I don't have notes and then that generation. You know that. Not generation, you know that little period when notes and then Afro swing. Afro swing, I, mm -hmm. I guess a bit of it could, like when notes started to do more My Lover with Mabel, that swing. Of the, I want to say that's the R&B. What is that? What genre is that? Mm. I think it's Afro swing. You that's know? the Afro swing? Okay, cool. I, I liked Afro that at that. least, but I don't, think, I don't think that's as viral as much. And I really miss that stage, whatever that was, R&B, Afro swing. I just missed that. And I feel like we stopped and we started doing sample drill a lot. 
off to please <laughs> I don't that's a whole nother conversation <laughs> yeah. please but I would I, like I to move on to another hot topics of the week so this is in relation to UK boys and I thought this conversation was so funny I think I've got to close with this one because we have been talking for such a long time we have let's close with this one I think this one is going to be a bit chaotic oh I like God. chaos are you ready I'm ready cool a woman stated that her Swedish Sudanese born friend noticed men in the UK don't really pay for women's drinks. A rapper responded implying that women expecting drinks to be brought for them are beggars. Another woman interjected reporting the tweet to God <laughs> because men on the internet were complaining about tempo tree. She said, Listen, God, take your kids because they do it the most. So are you the type of man that pays for a woman's drinks and do you see any issue with paying for a woman's drink if you like her well yeah I, I just don't get why you wouldn't like why You're not like, why is this even a conversation yeah Jeff? okay so that's what i think a lot like when we ask these questions and i feel like we ask these a lot in the uk i'm like why are these conversations like the uk men are bad do you, do you, is your daddy happy that you're not paying for women's drinks when you're trying to the court UK them men are really bad oh, is this a uk thing i feel like, like is it in your experiences is that common that a man is like difficult about like paying for the first date like that's the, the thing conversations where conversations happen ugh, a lot of I don't, I don't conversations it, I happen here like in our space in the UK these are the conversations that are being had for the most part yeah I know it's a lot on Twitter that's what we talk it's about very, it's very ghetto it's and bush like, I, I can't get believe it. we were having a whole conversation about paying for £10 drinks for me yeah there's two things yeah because I remember I went out with a girl and um, she was like oh you know i need to get guys to pay for drinks and that you have the girls that want to pay for guys to pay for drinks because they ain't got no money yeah i don't fuck you all know i don't i don't that's, fuck that's that. unattractive though, but that, let that, me that, tell yeah. you something there are guys that i will be at the bar you'll be talking to me at the bar and you watch me put my apple pay Beep. No, if you're yeah. yanning, if you're yanning a baby, yeah, it's just it's like yeah. If you're tr interested in me, if you're trying to yeah, talk to yeah. Me, if you care about the impression, bro, pay for like. Are you dumb? Like, why would you not? It's ten, why would you it's not? It's a ten pound. It's a yeah. twelve pound maximum. Like, I'm not gonna order a bottle of champagne. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's like, not going crazy. Like, it's a, literally a bar with a cup. But like, I'm stupid. Like, I'll pay for the group if it's a group of girls, and like, I'm really trying to make that impression. Mm -hmm. If she's with friends, she's like, oh, these are my friends. I'll be very respectful. This is this is from a game point of view. Mm -hmm. So, man, them don't think I'm being a pick me. I'm putting you on game. Mm -hmm. If you have fucking more than fifty pound in your account and you don't mind, you can be like, okay, what do you guys want to drink? Come, 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 let's drink. And then she feels like, wow, this guy is nice to the group. Nice, and then yeah. you can talk to your one and then talk to her and then cheers. You talking about paying the whole squad the drink? You can pay the oh, whole you, drink. You, you can rich. like just okay. What do you guys want? Like, I mean, if you got your money right and you he, got, he bougie, <laughs> he classy. Get your money up, boys. Like you can. Like, we and can. honestly, if you have left the fifty pound in your account, you don't need to be talking to no girls. Yeah, Focus exactly. Exactly. Future. Why are you at a party where there's drinks costing ten pounds if you have already fifty pounds? If you don't have enough money to comfortably afford drinks at the party, maybe that party wasn't for you. It's not your honest, destiny. Honest, honest. Be honest with yourself. Yeah. Because that's the thing. I feel it's like the force. issue. You want a bad B, mm -hmm. but you don't have bad B budget. You're you're, you're wanting girls who like a ten pound drink. You're wanting girls who like that date that costs. Mm -hmm. 40 pound for her plate mm -hmm. why do you want that stuff and why do you take her there but then you don't have enough money for it like it's just it's they accountability the yeah, it's accountability it's and I know in my experience women are often the ones that aren't very good at taking accountability but there's also things that men need to take accountability about why are you angry about paying for things if you had the money you would just pay for it like mm -hmm. respectfully as this woman you're trying to leave a good impression on why would you not like why is the why not <laughs> like, you know what yeah there was one time it. I went out recently and it's like now I don't even expect men to pay me for drinks because me I've passed that level now damn no, that bad for me I've passed that level because if the bare minimum for me is to expect a guy to pay me f f for, for to get me a drink mm. then I'm in the wrong place do you know what I'm saying me I'm thinking I'm not gonna wait for a guy to buy me a drink I'm gonna buy me a drink if I'm gonna buy myself a drink if I don't get a drink tonight from a guy that's fine I'm already drunk shit yeah. and I've paid for my girls' drink mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. calm my thing is Nigga, you gonna buy me a car? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like my level, ha my 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 mindset has changed. Like I'm not about like we're still having conversations about guys paying for drinks. Where there's guys putting women in houses. Yeah, like, there's guys on. like okay. The reason we're having these conversations is because mm -hmm. at this point, okay, now that it's established that mm -hmm. we're in this society of mm -hmm. this UK men are doing this and doing that. Obviously, not all of them. Some guys out there, no problem. I'm mm -hmm. gonna pay for your drink. I like you. I want you to be taken care of. This is just a glimpse of what's what you're in store for. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. I'm gonna pay for your juice. Like, it starts to become. Who are you even talking to now? Like, what kind of guys are you picking? Because if you're talking to guys that are 
questioning pay for drink. Move, move. Just walk away. Yeah, just, just walk leave him. away. At that point, yeah, you're good. Safe. Nice, one love, nice meeting one love. you. But like, Get your drink yeah, cut. love. Like, literally, one love and I'm off. Because mm-hmm. that talk. Who do we blame this here? This is meant to be the taste of what you're meant to show me. And you're struggling to pay for my juice when we were never going to be great. I love how you're calling it juice. It's juice, bro. <laughs> it's Digest juice. Like, and gold. No, let's belittle it. It's fucking juice. It's Why juice would you not be? pay for your drink? Like, how much is, can this thing add up to? Like, come on. If you don't have enough money for that, then maybe the bar talking to girls at parties isn't for you it's my destiny same way go and find the babes at church talking about go yachts back. in Dubai is not for me because I can't you. afford it mm-hmm. so I don't need to go to Dubai where the girls like this and I'm going to say oh, champagne don't, don't have no money for this you guys are you guys are fucking this because uh, cause I can't afford it am I angry at them or myself she, she, she gets mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. so like why 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 is there a conversation it's about the per- the person is probably you're just wasting your time on that person. You're like just waiting, you know, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. And again, like obviously, we're going. You know, I'm I'm like you said, women don't have accountability as well. You mm. don't need to be. Make sure you two have money to get drink. Mm. That's it. If a guy's not well. paying you for a drink, go to hell. But you two have your shit together. Where if that, the reason why this conversation doesn't bother me is because I know regardless of if somebody. Yeah. Or not buys me a drink, I'm finna still be. You're drunk. getting a drink, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I don't I, wait I for guys don't. to wait. I, I've been out with girls yeah. like that, and it's got to the point where it's like you are waiting, and then you have to. Then, then on top of that, you now have to talk to men that you don't really want to talk to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's you're yeah. Getting, it, Nah, no. I, listen. And then the, the issue with that is because I can wait for a guy to get a drink for me and talk to a guy that I don't like, but that's a guy that goes in the group chat and says, "Oh yeah, I, I spoke to Joyce. Please, no, don't don't mm-hmm. put my name on your mm-hmm. on your poverty, please." Mm. But even the conversation was moving on from that. Was that? There are certain men that have this bad B budget. What does that mean? So a bad B budget, according to the guys, is a budget that you have in above that you're gonna spend on bad Bs. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> so whether that's your whether that's your dating budget or for a particular bad B, you've got a budget where you're like, okay. I'm doing my monthly calculations. I'm gonna leave three hundred pounds for dates. Yeah, okay. To impress the girls, the drinks. The, that's the, that's where the drinks budget is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got a bad B budget? <laughs> you got a bad B budget. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> no, I, don't. <laughs> I don't. I okay. Um, I financially, I would say I'm at a position comfortable enough where I don't have to worry about anything that. A, bad B would want on mm-hmm. the spot however now she wants anything bigger like what Chanel or something Chanel. then we're gonna have to budget mm-hmm. and then we'll calculate so when I'm like when I was in my last relationship I'd think okay I need to spoil this girl but then as a then taking your okay I'm realistic with myself how much money do I have then you budget out of course mm-hmm. but I mean you're just a spender you're just like yeah I don't, I don't I don't mind what spending you going? Okay. Uh, like if I like you, I really want to spoil you. Like, to be mm-hmm. honest, I want to spoil you. And if you don't want to spoil her, she's not the one for you, bro. You did something wrong. If you don't want to spoil her, like, you probably don't like the girl. Like, why don't you want to spoil the girls you like? Do you know what I mean? So, you're saying that men, if if a guy's not spoiling you, he doesn't like you? Within his means. If, if within his means, let's say he has 20 pounds and he doesn't want to be buying you five pound things every time he gets that 20 pounds he doesn't want to buy you that five pounds he has 20k he doesn't want to keep getting you that 5k Sign. from Cleef that quick quick if he's not that guy that wants to do that for you I'm not like yeah I'm, yeah <laughs> you know, you're, not, you're not particularly in his fantasy I agree, bro. you know, do you know I personally because like I wouldn't even think about the money when it comes to spending on certain people because I'm like yeah, no, I just want I want you I want to see you receive that and I, I just want to see you enjoy mm-hmm. do you know what I mean but then if it's like I'm, it's a pain and I'm thinking about it and it's like a tax I hate tax. I hate paying that. You know what I mean? I don't want to pay that. But like, if I can do it without mind and I don't have to, that obviously that says something, right? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But then also at the same time, when guys try to use it and like, oh yeah, you know, I have money, then you can see you're getting money thrown at you. So you just mm-hmm. need to work out the balance of like that whole thing you about know, it's interesting budgets. You say that, yeah. Because majority of guys, I don't feel like there's, there, there's guys that throw money at you. There's guys that throw the knowledge that they have money, but then they don't spend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And them type of man piss me the fuck off. Just because you have money doesn't mean that you're a spender. Mm. I think for me, if a guy likes you, he will spend money on you and he won't think about it. And very highlight on the means of the man. Yeah. There are some guys, there are some girls that want to be spoiled with Rick Ross budget. Yeah, and I I think that's also delusional. It's yeah. very delusional, delusional because yeah. you see you see city girls and you see this and so you're like yeah, doing it. my portion yeah. is their portion. Lobster, lo- I need lobster, 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 steak, yeah. steak, 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 steak. Yeah. But your man's making. 
exactly. 30, 30, 40k a year. I'm sorry, you're not getting lost every week. Get Live within your means. I'll be realistic with but yourself. There are some men who make 30, 40k that will spoil their woman within their means more than somebody that earns a higher amount. Yeah. Do you know what? This comes to a deeper thing that I've, like, almost a mantra I've kind of started to realize that your life, depending on this money thing, is not better than anyone else's because it's down to you as a person. As mm-hmm. you just said now, the person with 30, 40K might be like, you know what? With every paycheck I get, this amount is going to my girl. Mm-hmm. But then a person on on um, Rick Ross money, for example, might be so tight hand, like so tight fisted that they're like, yeah, like I'm not spending anything on my girl. Or mm-hmm. maybe they're even spending the same amount as a 30K guy. But in proportion, True. that's a lot less. That's a lot less, yeah. So, but this person's heart is more generous. So your life. Your experience, you're looking at the babes that are getting something that maybe is a bit more expensive than what you've got. Your man bought you Michael Kors bag. Mm-hmm. Rick Ross boys go Chanel bag. But to Rick Ross, that Chanel is like him buying you the Primark paper bag. Like, it doesn't matter mm-hmm. to him. But that does not mean that you are now in a worse position than Rick Ross's babe if he's not spending, if he doesn't care, if he's not generous. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it's all about how much you spend on your girl. It's not about the quantity. It's about proportion and care and thought. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? More so. I think there's layers to it. Like, So when I see people like complain about like oh, money, like, oh, you have more than me, so your life is better. I don't think it's all about that. It's about proportions and like how you negate it, like how you really go about it in, in your way with what you have. Mm-hmm. If you do everything within your means, like, you know what I mean? If you have only that £20, but you still will spend five, like five pounds is a lot out of £20. That is 25%. Exactly. So if my mathematic is sharp. Yes, twenty five percent. So yeah, spend twenty five percent of your check on mm-hmm. that baby for the drink because that's like no, yeah, this is worth it. Like this goes like you're fine. Let me. I only have twenty five in my account, but I'm gonna put this five down. Mm-hmm. That shows a lot more care because when let's say you come up one day and you tell her, you know, when I bought you that first five pound drink, you know, I only had twenty pounds in my account mm-hmm. and I just thought fuck it, and I had bills the next day. She's gonna think, wow, this guy cared about me more so than guy with fifty k in the account who was like, what, you want your drink first day? I ain't paying for that. Do, do, do. You, you're broke. You do, do. like all that stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's all about who you are as a person more than the money you have. So anybody can win a lottery one day. You know what I mean? It doesn't change who you are as a person and how good your life is. Trust the sister the sister that won the lottery just today that she she was living in her in her partner's house for free mm-hmm. and she won the lottery and then broke up with him. Is it, that is very disgusting. You owe him all the rent you were living there for at least minimum if you're gonna break yeah, up. Yeah, she him. left. She broke up with him. She left him. That she won the lottery and then dumped his ass. But guys, we are gonna close it from there. Honestly, this yeah. has been a very long conversation. It's been good though. Like but I'll it's spin been really back. Good. I would like to knight you today, Kane and the sweetheart. I'm gonna. Oh, I think stop I, it. you are such a sweetheart. I'm gonna. I think we're gonna address you today as Kane and the sweetheart because honestly, like you, I think you. The girls are going to agree with me that you've probably been the sweetest boy here. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Thank you, guys. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I, I'm, I don't want to speak for the bad girls. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. This might be really badly received. All the bad boys. <laughs> what? I don't want to speak for them. But thank you so much for coming. Uh, thank you for having me. It's Where do we find you on the internet? Um, Yeah, socials. Kanan dot underscore on Instagram. Kanan Patan on TikTok. Just Kanan on YouTube. Yeah, and just search up Kanan. K-A-N-A-N. Guys, and with that being said, we are going to close. Thank you so much for coming. And we are going to be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl. Some period. Perm.